Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Sweet Indie. Hi, I'm Spence. How you doing? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shit. All right, Spence. I believe you for now, but you're on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, Aww. welcome back, everybody. It's so good to see you again. I missed you very dearly. Now, yeah. Hacking, we're gonna we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, but before that, uh, people in stream, if you feel like uh maybe saving or maybe even dooming your favorite characters, you can by donating some some muns to give some some of the players inspiration. Uh, it's it's five dollars per point of inspiration for the players, one dollar per point of inspiration for the DM. Uh, players oh. can spend one point to give themselves advantage on an ability check or attack roll, or spend ten points to automatically succeed on an on an ability check or attack roll. This has to be something they would normally be able to succeed at, so no finding out true names or anything of that nature. With that all said, hey. let's second jump right into game. How about yeah? No, it's fine. No, that's stupid. Ah, it's great. Goodbye, yeah, channel. Really Miss you very, very much. Good. Bye. I was alone on that. All right. <laughs> All righty. Heckin', I'm going to start up some music here. Start the moose. Doing it. Starting the moose. It's an Yasha music. Yeah. Um, Heckin', Copyright I'm going to roll this. Strikes descending from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to heckin' roll this magical D4, and it's going to tell us who's going to give us the recap, and it's. Chase! Oh, fuck. Hey! <laughs> I know I haven't done it in a long time, and mm -hmm. I've had a very, very nice break. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> End of thought. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, fucking, yeah. So, uh, last game started with, uh, getting on the boat, right? Like, basically yeah. getting ready. Uh, it was uh, was was the thunderous cacophony of genitalia smashing against each other, and that at the start of that session was at the start of the previous session. And that was the end of the previous session. Yeah, it was the end of fourteen, and ah, then fifteen so the, opened the next morning. The yeah. aftermath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The aftermath of thunderous cacophonies of of skin slapping against skin. Yes, Pelvis as, breaking. <laughs> as though heralded by a mighty, mighty deity giving a <laughs> warning of terror, all the townsfolk gathered to figure out what exactly all that was about, and many jokes were made and many awkward exchanges were had. Uh, what a wondrous time it was. Uh, mm -hmm. From there, we went out to the boat uh, after various stuff, and we found a note attached to it uh, that I believe said this boat was Soup's Always Totally called the Dragon Lance. I just forgot or something. Signed, Store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then, uh, and then he was like, "No, I distinctly remember it didn't have a name." And Lance was like, "Oh, so you're calling me a lie? I mean, Store's lie." <laughs> <laughs> And we had a whole fun thing with that. Uh, it was such a good time. And <laughs> then uh, the heck in, we all got all of our supplies. We got our nondescript amount of random crewmen uh, from the king, uh, stacked them onto that boat, slapped it onto the ocean, and we started doing a sailing uh, thing. I, I feel like we convinced Krusk to come like to go there and just wait for us at the end of a uh, previous session like not yeah not this last one yeah yeah so yeah he's, he's going gonna, ahead and he's gonna like meet up with us yeah. when we get there i was just yeah. double checking to make sure i didn't forget about that but yeah that mm -hmm. was that was the last session so yeah he's, he's gonna be over <clears> there but not as part of this uh so we were on the ocean doing ocean things it was great such fun times had by all uh, and then I think the first thing that happened was uh, the, the boat that was full of bad things and sadness. Uh, one very angry minotaur and like a bunch of very dead minotaur. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Was uh, that before the first that. Boat? No, no, we had no, the shark. Yeah. yeah, the shark boat. Yeah, came first. yeah, yeah. Okay, or, yeah. No there boat, were sharks, but sharks first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that was right. Yes, sorry. I for, I, the, the minotaurs were just too memorable. <laughs> Yep. They were very memorable. So yeah, uh, first it was sharks, and sharks attacked, 
And Storm was like, we'll take this giant shark. You guys take your own giant shark. Like, that's a thing normal people say. Uh, <laughs> and so we, we <laughs> did that. Uh, and we fought a bunch of sharks. And it was great. And then a jar- j- j- big boy showed up. A big, angry red boy was like, hi there. I'm your psychic friend, Angry Shark. And I think y'all did a great job, so I'm not going to eat you today. This is the perfect approximation of what his voice sounded like. Don't look it up. (laughs) Uh, And he was like a billion feet long or something. And also was a giant red angry shark that I think is like called the devil shark or something. I feel like if if it's not called that, I feel like that's just the first thing you think of when you see it. So uh, fucking it was like, I'm not going to kill you today but I am going to probably fuck with you. See ya! And then left. And uh, we were like, cool, that's not ominous at all. Uh, and uh, and yeah, we also knew that we couldn't fucking try to fight it even if we wanted to, so that was probably for the best that it decided to fuck off and not try to kill us. Uh, so we were like, all right, cool, yay, hooray, good stuff. Now there will be no problems until we reach the shore. Uh, and then... Another boat showed up, and it had a big a heckin' ramming thing on the front of it, and there was a very angry necromancer minotaur on it. And also there were, like, 40 skeleton minotaurs on it? Some <laughs> absolutely ridiculous Disgusting. fucking number? Disgusting. And yeah. they weren't even, like, weak or anything? <laughs> they, they were really strong and shit? So, uh, yeah, they they showed up and began to absolutely fuck our shit right the fuck up. I -hmm. think, like, we saw him, we got the drop on him, we fired a bunch of spells, and he was like, that that hurt. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? I'm I'm, I'm an honest minotaur. That really hurt. Uh, I do have a thing that will hurt you as well. And then cast Circle of Fucking Death on the (laughs) boat, and it hit everyone, and, like like fucking chunked all of our healths to nearly nothing and then i think outright killed barry and nearly outright killed lance like both almost immediate deaths and then we still had to fight him and all the fucking skeletal minotaurs so yeah that was a bad fucking time and we realized that carrie didn't have revivify yet uh in that i do now but even <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't have had a diamond. Yup, so... that's a bad fucking time. Yep, go on! Yup, so anyway, we killed the Minotaur, we defeated all of the skeletons, and we were like, thank goodness, and Izzy picked up his book and was like, alright, what spells he's got? And we looked through them, and was like, oh yeah, there's actually a spell that requires a very specific material component in there. Uh, he probably had that on him. And Izzy was like, well, I have the Cloak of the Manta Ray. Technically, Mac was like, well, you have the Cloak of the Manta Ray, so you have no reason to not go into the deep, dark, scary ocean. And Kasim was like, I hate it when you say things like that, and then dove into the deep, dark, (laughs) scary ocean. Uh, And went all the way to the bottom of the seafloor, found the dead Minotaur, rifled through his things, and turned around, and there was the the, the fucking devil shark just out of view, being like, yeah, I pranked you, bud. And then, like, went back into the depths of the ocean. Uh, and still is is waiting to fuck with us. Uh, and then Kasim got back up, and we fucking got all the shit, and it was uh, good times, other than the the, the fact that fucking Barry died. Uh, and uh, mm-hmm. fucking yeah, we're like we're gonna get to shore. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna fucking get Barry back. It's it's totally gonna work out. Uh, it's gonna be okay. And then uh. And then, yeah, I think we we just fast forwarded uh, from that point to the point that we're at where we landed at shore. Yeah, you guys just yeah. arrived in the uh, the Neverwinter docks. <clears throat> yes. And Carrie and, and I believe, uh, sorry, uh, 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 Drake and I think Oramac know who the captain doc person is that we need to talk to about things. Uh, Harbor mm-hmm. Master Lenjes. Yes. Mm-hmm. They, they know of her or have met her in the past, so yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So, heckin' uh, yeah, you guys just arrived at the uh, in the Neverwinter docks. Um, you guys pull ashore, and um, yeah, you guys see that uh, as soon as you pull in, there are like there are some some guards, and um. 
you know, and you see uh, Harbor Master Len Jess. Um, she is uh, give a description of what she looks like again. Uh, she is a, a female. Uh, she looks to be a female water genasi. She looks to be um, middle aged, um, and uh, uh, she's got a, a very stern face, very um, uh, pronounced features, uh, long white hair, and um, yeah, uh, Drake and Aura Mac. You guys would know m mainly mainly Drake because you've worked at the docks before. Um, you don't know she's a she's a very <laughs> stern uh like she's very strict she's and she's very very straightforward um she refuses take to take bribes and she uh reports illegal behavior uh immediately like as soon as she sees it to the to neverwinter watch um yeah she's got some she's got some scars on her and um and yeah that's uh pretty much her she is uh she seems to be approaching your guys's ship as you guys pull in um <clears throat> uh, make sure me and ori are there to greet her so it's not like fucking hey what are you doing over there we're like hey what are you doing in my basement <laughs> exactly <laughs> get out of here <laughs> what are you doing in my docks get out of here <laughs> get out of here oh um, shit all right sorry Lynn. damn <laughs> Um, but yeah, heckin, um, and she, uh, she, uh, approaches your boat and she has, uh, she also has, uh, four guards, um, uh, surrounding, or surrounding her. Oh shit. All right. Um, she, you know that she usually keeps these, these guards around her. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. She uh she approaches. Uh, what is your business here? Yep, we, pushing, um, pushing Ori forward because he's tired. Yeah, um, <clears throat> uh, we um. Oh, sorry, I'm I'm blanking on the uh, exactly who we need to talk to about the uh, attack. Uh, the Lord, we have to go to the Lord's Alliance, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we'll have the best bet of being we listened to. We at least have, like, a letter that we can give to the Lord's Alliance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we want to warn about a pirate attack. We don't have to... I mean, exactly. we can tell her, right? Uh, like, chaos isn't going to fucking happen if we tell her that might happen. Because she's going to find out about it eventually. Probably yeah. not. What if she's mm -hmm. in on it? Who knows? <laughs> Seems very unlikely that she'd be in on it. Me and Ori trust um, her, so we'd probably yeah. tell her. <laughs> Especially Lori. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we we have business with the Lord's Alliance. We uh, we we have news that there is going to be a, a pirate attack on these shores. She gives. She raises an eyebrow. Right. It's true. Ah, uh, it's you we, too. Yeah, mm. we. <laughs> Did she not like us? Damn. She's <laughs> just you know she's like this with everybody. No, that's fair. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah, we we captured a pirate and we we found his map of where they plan to attack. So nothing's happened yet. Like everything's been okay because we were partially worried that we might be too late. Hmm. Well, as long as you're not, s are you selling anything? Like, do you have goods I don't to sell? So. Um. No. All right. Look right. It's just like looking around, like I mean, I'm not any. Is anyone selling anything? Like, right? I'm kind of like looking at the rest of the crew, like, is anybody mm -hmm. here to sell shit? I, <laughs> like, no, I don't. I, I, uh, I do not believe that is part of our business here. All right, what is the name of your boat so we can register it? Oh, fuck. oh no, we didn't uh... decide yet. <laughs> Would you say to be determined or something? I need a name. Uh, we mm. haven't exactly picked a name yet. Lynch Make one up. <clears throat> Where is Lance right now? <laughs> no, he's right next to you. Cool. I'm glad he's <laughs> keeping quiet. That's uncharacteristic of him. Good for him. <laughs> for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. 
We can change it later, right? Can we? Mm, that's your business. Uh, it is going to be registered as the name you pick. Uh, or a list. We had a list of names. Or <laughs> Some Ginger I Snap remember. was one of them. Ginger Snap, yeah. the, the Black Ginger Dragon. Snap and Black Dragon and the Dragon Lance. They're the ones I remember. <laughs> Uh, uh, put a, put us down as the Black Dragon. No, no, Ginger Snap was the name of a Black Dragon. Oh, oh Black Snap. Dragon! Black Dragon wasn't one of our names. Damn, <laughs> that's a good name. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could just call. Is it too late to change our minds on that? <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Black Dragon. Put, put us. Sure. Yeah. All right, the Black Dragon. <clears throat> Writes it down in her. Uh, uh, on her clipboard that she has. Just, like, just shrugging at Ori if he's like looking. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it's fine. Black dragon. All right. Enjoy your stay in Neverwinter. Um, Thank you. Much appreciated. Don't cause trouble. Uh, just looking at <laughs> both you uh, and uh, and Drake Hormack. <laughs> Have we I... ever? <laughs> Mm. Yeah, Oramac kind of gives her like a like the hand waving, like eh. Mm. <laughs> Shut up! I know. <laughs> and she continues on. I like so. her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was thinking, I was thinking of something to name the ship in honor of Barry, but then I remembered that we're going to save her. Yeah, no, we are. First, first things first. We need to speak with the Lords Alliance and make sure they're warned. Then we, then we need to find whatever we can to make this work. I'm gonna like take Lance's hand and be like, "Lucky for you, buddy, that Ori wants to go do some other stuff before we drop you off, so you get to hang out a little longer." Uh, cool. Oh, he's still all traumatized. This poor baby. <laughs> Well, you mean it's not over it yet? Suck no, it I up. know. I, just, I, I haven't had to experience it. Suck it, it up, man. kid. <laughs> You're 12. Bro, You've seen you get your death by it. this point. <laughs> you oh. fucking child. <laughs> you want to be a pirate, don't you? Stop being such a little bitch. <laughs> Uh, and if we're on our way to the Lord's Alliance, can we uh, keep our eyes out for any uh, any like temples where uh, clerics might be hanging out on the way there? Definitely, um, we wanna. Before you leave for the the docks, I need everyone to roll me a perception check. Oh, oh heck! Here we go. It's happening. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Nice. 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 Inspiration. Inspiration. Inspiration on the roll. Thank God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm being called again. What the fuck? Get out, out of there. Here. Oh heck. Um, I've been called like fucking. Probably get out of here. No, it's some random number. I don't know them. Um, oh. heckin. Uh, that's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Drake, you're the first one to spot that there, um, you see the voyage is docked here. Oh, oh. okay, cool. Mm-hmm. How did they get here so fast? Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we, we, should, been, we should maybe you know. talk to Chandri then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You guys, isn't that, isn't that the voyage? Look right there? Hmm? Kind of pointing. Oh! Out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Cool. Do you want to go ask Chandra if she can maybe help with with, with Barry? Yeah, it, it seems like a logical place to start. Let's, let's go. Do it. Um, to the voyage. To the voyage. And hopefully find mm -hmm. Chandra. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you uh, head on over to where the, the voyage is docked. Uh, you see that there's a couple crew members just um, like taking uh taking supplies in and out of the uh, out of the ship and you see uh captain Graysale uh directing everybody you don't see chandra yet though oh, captain captain Graysale. Hmm? 
Well, hello there. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know where Chandri is by any chance? Chandri? Uh, <laughs> she's not on the, the, the boat anymore. She finished her business. I think she, uh, went back to her, her temple. You know which temple that would be, by any chance? I'd assume it'd be the Temple of Helm. Um, yeah, you can find it in the, uh, uh, it's not too far. It's somewhere in the Blue Lake District. Gotcha. Is there only one of those in Waterdeep? Or in Neverwinter, rather. There you go. Yeah, there's a... Here, I'm going to share a map, actually, of the... Of Hooray! The city. Woo! Bip. Uh, Bibble dee bap. Bibble dee bap. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. All right. So where's the temple and where are we? Uh, You guys are, like, around here. Got okay. you. Right here. A temple would be somewhere in the Blue Lake District. It's not anywhere on the, uh, like, it's not where any of the numbers are. Um, okay. Yeah. Not but that far where's, off. Where's the hidden snake? The hidden snake? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys, I think you guys are also located in the Blue Lake District. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys are also in the Blue Lake District. You guys would probably be around here. And hold on. Somewhere there. Okay. Oh. Excellent. We can find, we can find Chandri and, uh, drop off Lance on the way back. Yeah. Would it be so? <clears throat> yeah, the... She would, uh, Graysale would tell you that the, the Temple of Helm was, is probably somewhere close to Castle Never. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, Castle uh, Never, by the way, is this boy here. Gotcha. Uotcha. Uh, I'm not seeing any markings appear on the map when you do that. The re it's really, they're like blending it's, it's into brown, the map. So you gotta really in. look. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gotcha. All right. Um, a uh, store? Uh, uh, yes. I uh, double check our supplies, m you know, try and make an inventory of what we uh, need to take care of. Um, and uh, uh, Oramac is just going to pick up Barry. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll try and uh, do what we can to help Barry and inform the Lord's Alliance of the attack. Uh, you got it. Um, right. Be safe. Thank you. You too. You too. Here, keep an eye out. Mm. Oh. Should we right. uh, should we split up, cover more ground? Um, both at once. Sure. Uh, you know, uh, hand. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I. I mean, that's a that's a good idea, but I'm not. I'm not sure who to who should speak with the Lord's Alliance. Uh, I'm carrying. I'm carrying Barry. Val's not great with people. We can, uh, we Drake wants to drop off. Get a yeah. cart for Barry. Don't think that it will look good to be walking around the town with her and yeah. in view. Yeah. yeah, I could uh, make a cart, I guess. But that might draw some really? attention. If you need a... a a tarp or something to cover her it might be a bit, you know, better. That would be best. Hmm. He'll hand you a, uh... Very good. Like, he'll hand you a, a tarp from the, from the boat. All right. Um... Okay. Uh, Val, if I, if I hand you the letter, would you promise... To not piss off the Lord's Alliance and make sure they know about the pirate attack. I will do my best to make that happen. All right, uh, Kasim, you and I are gonna find a place, uh, gonna find this temple and get uh, Barry fixed up. And Drake, you take Lance back to your parents and explain what happened. Should Val really go somewhere by himself? I feel I mean, like we probably want more than. More Just people go into the Lord's I'll, Alliance. I'll, I'll go with Val. 
or me and Lance will go with Val. All right. Um, not letting go of Lance. I've got his hand. I'm not letting him go. <laughs> hand, um, handing uh, either of you uh, the letter of introduction. Be safe and good luck. You too. We'll uh, oh, we'll we'll meet up with we'll meet up with Barry back at uh, the Hidden Snake. Okay. Looking at glancing over at Lance, how's he doing? He's kind of just looking at the ground, um, just holding your hand absentmindedly. Okay, <laughs> look. All right. Don't worry. We'll we'll get all this sorted, and a week from now we'll all be laughing about this. I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Okay. Yeah, we'll all be laughing about it, and you'll be at home with dads, knowing that everything's okay. Punch him in the arm. <laughs> uh, uh, sure. I hate this! I hate this so much! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, well, we best be hitting the old dusty trail, I think. <laughs> Damn it, you see? Here we go. Or Max is, like, got... He's he's just got her. You know, he's just got her wrapped up in the tarp. Is already like on his way. Come on, Kasim. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. So, who wants to go first? Um. All right. Uh. Mac and uh, Chase, roll me a d twenty. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. Dip. Dip. Six. Slightly higher than six. <laughs> Only a right, little. We'll go, oh, we'll go with uh, oh, we'll go with Ormac and uh, Kasim right, first. I think that's pretty much a tie, but I'll give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, Mac and Kas uh, Ormac and Kasim, you guys head towards the uh, the temple, uh, the Temple of Helm. Where, uh, where you, where you think, uh, Chandra might be. Um, it's a, it's a bit of a walk. This is a fairly big city. Um, you, you, you notice, like, traveling through the city that this, the city is, uh, constantly under construction. Um, a lot of, uh, like, upgrades, a lot of repairs, uh, seem to be happening, like, all the time here. Mm. Um, it's pretty lively, though. Uh, yeah, uh, let me see here. It's just yeah. did, let me see. Is that streets? Yeah, uh, would street smart still be in effect then? Because I've been living here for ages, or is there like enough construction here that I would need to do like the eight hours to know all the back alleys and stuff? You you would know the city pretty well. So okay, so I'm. All right, so that means Oramac can lead the way and knows like shortcuts and stuff. Uh, how mm -hmm. long would it take us to reach there then? Uh, probably about an hour. An hour okay. walking. So, um, <laughs> All yeah. Right. So, uh, you guys, um, eventually after uh, about an hour, uh, you guys are uh, and you, yeah, you would know where the the Temple of Helm is. So, uh. You guys arrive. It is a, a modest temple, not like huge or, or anything, not like a cathedral, but uh, a place of worship. Um, uh, you, it is, doors seem to be open. Um, and uh, you guys head inside. Yeah. All right. But if we don't see Chandri outside, then we head inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, the main entrance leads into a, um, what you would, like, see, like, when you walk into a church, like, the, like, you know, um, places to sit where people can, uh, sit and pray. There's the, uh, the pews. yeah, those, mm -hmm. um, there's a, the, uh, a statue of what you presume to be the god Helm, um, or at least the, uh, the holy symbol of Helm, um, you see a couple people uh, praying. You see a, a couple of uh, uh, clerics uh, in the in the main room here. Uh, they uh, and you see Chandri. Huh. 
And Chandra, she, girl. I, go, I go over to her. All right. Uh, oh. She turns around. She recognizes your voice. Oh, oh, hi there. What? What? what hey, what is what? Is, what's going on here? Hey, um, it's good. To, good to see you again. Um, bit of a hurry, unfortunately. We uh had a bit of a rough go of it on the way here. Oh no. Yeah, we we lost uh, one of our crew. I'm so sorry. I just appreciated. I I I don't know much about your order, but are you able to reverse that sort of thing? Um here I can uh in the in the temple, <gasps> not normally uh you know outside of it this, this place is we are stronger here but uh we can't it would require a, a ritual uh however and also um do you have any funds for a uh we, we need to acquire a, a, a first off i should ask how long has she been dead um more than uh, a minute less than a week yeah it's been a it's been a couple days okay um, do you have 500 gold? Uh, let me check. Uh, Not like... on me, but... Do we I... collectively have that? Like, real fucking quick. I believe I got... so. I have Probably. 107. You got 121. Mm -hmm. uh, I got 123. Uh, oh, we actually, also haven't divvied up the... Uh... A lot of numbers. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. I know okay. how much you all yeah. collectively have. Yeah. You each have... Well, a collective total of 494 gold. Which, oh! So, fuck um, what is that? do you mean? Okay, no, but we also have 30 gold in uh, the party fund that hasn't been distributed. So, we oh. have we have okay. enough. You have, if we okay, all yeah, gave up enough. all of our money, then yeah. Dude, I was like this close to sucking a dick for like six gold. <laughs> 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 Make it change yourself some pocket money. Like <laughs> <laughs> you could have just asked your dad for like a loan of five no, bucks. No, I'll earn this back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. No. Listen, I like Barry. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, if you all pooled some money, uh, the money together, then yeah, you guys could afford it. We just say retroactively that we put all that money together before we left so I can just give it to her. We roll would have known that it would cost money. Yeah, it's roll me Arcana just to see if you would know how the spell would work. Like That's if, fair. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I'm going to use inspiration. Good call. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, you would you would know that uh, for this kind of spell, like you would need the uh, the material uh, component, which would cost five hundred gold. Cool. All right. So. Yeah. Then yeah, if if we've got it, then I'll just yeah, no hesitation, pull out a, a bag of gold. Like, will this cover the diamond? Uh, she grabs it. She looks uh, looks into it. I believe so, yes. Um oh, thank goodness. Uh are you two going to be the only ones participating in the ritual? Or are your friends going to as well? Uh that depends. Uh, what what sort of ritual are we what does it entail? Well, essentially the um the the ritual entails um loved ones uh trying to bring the soul back to its back to its body and the, so the, the more the merrier it's up to uh three people can participate if you want i can be the third person but i don't know this person as well sounds like we would uh really want to have drake here she definitely knew barry the best said how long has she been exactly how long um, 
how long has it been out of character? Like, uh, like it's been like, days? yeah, it's been like, I think, three days. Uh, it's about three days. Okay, you have, you have a bit of, you have a couple days left before the the spell. Um, we we would need a a different spell, a much more powerful cleric. Yeah, yeah, I, I get what you mean. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Uh, I will try and get uh, try try and get Drake. That sounds like our best bet. Okay. Th- thank thank you so oh. much, Andre. I sure. We'll we'll take we'll take her. Uh, we can. Um, you uh, can do what you can to prepare this the situation so we can just get this underway right away. Right. Yes. That sounds awesome. Yeah. All uh, right. Or a Mac just gives her a big hug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> Thank you. I then... don't thank me just yet. There's a there's a chance that this could fail. Well, the chance that it could work is more than we've had for three days. <laughs> All right. Uh, go go get Drake then. I'll I'll prepare in the All meantime. Right. Yeah, and, uh, of course we'll do. Th- thank you, thank you so much. I uh, I I owe you dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you up on that. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, yeah, Captain. <laughs> um, follow my lead. Uh, I'll find the shortest route. To- We'll, uh, we'll make our way to the Hidden Snake and, and meet up with them there, as planned. Aye, aye, sir. All right. Adorable. Now I'll head out towards the Hidden Snake. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the more, <clears throat> the closer, uh, no, cutting back to Val and Drake, uh, you guys would have had the, uh, the closer... Uh, the jur- journey because Lord's Alliance is actually located at the um, uh, at Castle Never. Ooh. Heck yeah, cool. Yeah, you guys would know. Uh, you guys would have the the king would have mentioned that uh, Lord uh, Never Ember is a a part of uh, the Lord's Alliance. So, uh, so yeah, if you guys want to Never head over to Ember. Okay. Never Ember, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, you've lived here your whole life, right, uh, Drake? Yup. Okay, yeah. I was dropped at the door of the hidden snake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, you would know, just to give you like some some history about uh, about this place. Um, uh-huh. You would know that over the past few years, Castle Never has uh, seen a miraculous reconstruction. Um, okay. Yeah, the uh, the structure, like the castle itself, has been was one of the worst affected by the uh, the cataclysm uh, that affected the city, uh, but has been thoroughly repaired and cleared of monsters by the Neverwinter Watch and adventuring parties. Um, okay. Yeah, you would know that the castle itself is not entirely safe. Uh, entire sections are still blocked off uh, thanks to monsters uh, layering within, but is secure enough for uh, like for Lord Never Ember and uh, the rest of the Lord's Alliance and the mayor, uh, Soman Galt. Uh, he's a he's a dwarf, um, and they and the court to live here year round. Um, so yeah, you, uh, you approach Castle Never, uh, you, it is obviously blocked by guards, um, who stop you at the door. Halt! What's the uh, state your business? Break, see if she's gonna take the lead on this. <laughs> we have an urgent message for Lord Never Ember. They look at each other. Mm-hmm. We have Do this you have letter a prior of engagement. We don't, but it's of grave importance. We have this letter of introduction from what's his fucking name? Uh, <laughs> King a... Red Axe. Yeah, King, King Red Axe. Cool, from mm-hmm. King Red Axe. Hmm. 
Mais c'est de la dernière heure. Shows. <rire> Shows later. Mm -hmm. hmm. Wait here. And uh, the guard. Looks over uh, one the of the guards uh, walks off. After a bit of time, he comes back. Lord Neverember has granted you an audience with him. Thank you so much. Hmm. And he, uh, he says, follow me. Uh, you, take my position. He points at another guard. And he leads you. Into the I like castle. still have lanes with me. Like we're doing this <laughs> and I'm holding the hand of this 12 year old boy with me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right now he's perked up a little bit. Like he's looking around at the, the castle. Like he's he's never been here before. Um, oh, go good. An experience. Mm -hmm. oh. He's mm. only seen it from the outside and has never really wandered anywhere close to this place. Mm. It's always oh. guarded. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, uh, leads you to uh, through the castle, which is uh, shows obvious signs of reconstruction. Still, there are still people like working on, you know, you know repairs or yeah. constructing new new areas um or lead you through like what seemed to be a labyrinth of of halls and, and other rooms uh until finally uh i lead you to a, a room uh what looks to be an office no never ember we'll see you now any gestures to the door oh i i glance about and... I'll open I'll open the door and gesture for you to go in first mm -hmm. cool. thank you alright you, uh, as you walk inside you see uh, a very extravagant looking office a lot of uh, what seem to be like tapestries uh, art objects uh, a large bookcase behind a, uh, a very well constructed uh, desk uh, made of very uh, fancy, sturdy-looking wood. Um, behind it, you see a uh, you see a man. I wonder if he has a picture. Hold on. Oh, uh, b -b 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 Yeah, yeah. Here he is. Uh, yeah. Uh, you see a man with, uh, uh, he looks to be a bit, he looks to be a, maybe in his, uh, mid to late forties. Uh, he's got, um, very, very short hair, like it's shaved. Um, very extravagant looking armor, very, uh, blues and golds. Um, a, a like a handlebar, uh, handlebar mustache, uh, crawling across his lip. Very stern looking uh man like he's he's seen he's seen a lot you can just tell by looking at him here is a picture of him oh, oh majestic that's a stash oh yeah that's hey, that fucking... i am i'm i'm now a... hearing jk simmons voice yeah i was gonna oh, say yeah. like that's a that's oh, an omni man yes. stash <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> uh hell yeah love it mm -hmm. same about it all right I want uh, parchment scrolls of Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beside him, you, uh, I don't have a picture of this guy, but you see a, um, a, a dwarven figure, a, a male dwarven figure. Uh, seems to uh, be very, he, he seems to be a very aged man. He is um, uh, very pale skin, very like sunken cheeks. Um, dark eyes, like sunken, uh, sunken dark eyes, uh, very, uh, very gray as well. He does not look healthy, is mm. what I would more describe him as. Um, would I assume that he's the mayor or no? You've seen him before. This what? is the mayor. Oh, do I? Yeah. Okay. This is Mayor Galt. Soman Galt. Soman Galt. S O M A N G A L T. Damn. Yeah. So close. Sure. Oh, yeah. Um, so I was relatively close too, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh-huh. Look at them. Look at those boys. Do they share a desk? Do I want share them a to desk? share a desk. <laughs> no, they do not. Damn. Uh, Damn Galt is, uh, is standing next to him, like, sort of at attention. Um, he, they seem to have been in the middle of a... Damn. They seem to have been in a, a the middle of a of a conversation as well, um, ah. like di- conducting their own business. Um, but yeah, um, you guys enter the room. He the uh, never ember acknowledges you. Welcome. So. What do I owe the pleasure of someone who can grant, uh, get the, get a letter of introduction from King Redax himself? Uh, thank you for seeing us on such short notice, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm Drake Willowheart. Uh, this is my little brother, Lance. <clears throat> Looks at Val. And mm. I am Val. Apologies for the interruption. You said mm-hmm. your name was Willowheart? Yes. Like the the people who own the uh, the hidden snake. Yes, they're my father's. Hmm. Nice people. I agree. It is taking every ounce of my personal as a player patience <laughs> to not just say, oh, "I see you frequent the hidden snake." <laughs> <Lord."> <laughs> You're <laughs> fucking right. Like, I oh. am really trying to not um. load on that. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, uh, you've never seen him at the Hidden Snake before, Drake. <laughs> oh, he just hears shit and knows about it. Okay, he's all the, right. He's, the, the, he's, the, he's like the Lord of. He's the Lord mm-hmm. of. Uh, uh, of never of Neverwinter. Like he. Uh, he needs to know the goings on. <laughs> yeah, he just he just yeah. knows things. Um. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I personally call bullshit, but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Val has assumed he's listen, there on the nightly. Listen, <laughs> there's a different brothel place that he oh, goes to. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a there's a fancier brothel. Yeah, I remember. There is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> listen, we do okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You do. You do. You do plenty okay. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. It's just. You know, not as high end as the the other place. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's true. Mm. So, jeez, what business do you have with me? I'm afraid that we come with a warning. Um, we came across a pirate. Um, who had a map on his person, indicating places he was going to attack. Okay, remind me, Spencer. It was Neverwinter, Waterdeep, and Baldur's Gate. Yep. Right? Did it? Cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. cool. Heckin, yeah. Uh, it indicated that there was going to be attacks on Waterdeep as well as, or Neverwinter as well as Waterdeep and Baldur's Gate. Really? Yes. May I see this map? Yeah. map? yeah. Yeah. Cool. Val has it, right? Uh, I thought I you have had it, it but... Yeah. I think I have it. Yeah, yeah I believe cool. you have Whoever it. Whoever needs it has it. <laughs> Hands it over. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all would have prepared beforehand, it. I assume. <laughs> of course. I'm just double checking. Damn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. You hand him the map. He uh, carefully takes it, puts it on his desk. Uh, he grabs a, like, a pair of reading glasses uh, that he has just on his desk, reads over it. Uh, Mm -hmm. We did everything we could to try to get any kind of time frame out of the man, but unfortunately, we couldn't get any information. I see. What does this text in the corner here mean? What does it mean? What is it? Do we have the image for it? Yeah. Um, Yeah, hold on. I'm going to find it. Uh, Preesh, take your time. Yeah. Oops, preesh. I should have had this Mm -hmm. prepared, but I did not. It's all good. Oh, the Wait, stuff in the top right corner. Hmm? The stuff in the top right corner. Yeah. Like the little scribbles on it. Ah, oh, where is it? Hold on. It's all good. Take your time. I'm just looking at this beautiful mustachio old man. Mm-hmm. I Wait, like that he took out. Really, really glasses. loving that armor. Yo, right? Yeah, armor's fucking sick. I really like Dude, it. Dude, it's 
it's so cute to like look at him like that oh. and then imagine him just taking out little reading glasses like oh, <laughs> like, what a patoon. Like tiny spectacles yeah it's kind of awkward because he's wearing those big thick gauntlets exactly <laughs> <laughs> it's like put his sword down if i can take some of the tiniest little glasses they're on like a chain okay, like, here. Like, yeah. oh. here we are <laughs> little bifocal squinting mm -hmm. at the map yeah there you go did um, did we know what those scribbles meant? You do not. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, can you cast comprehend languages on it? Or does that only work verbally? Ooh, let me try. I'll see if um, that works. I need to read the text of comprehend languages real quick. I can read it to you. It uh, does. I think it takes a minute per page of text. Yeah, it says, for the duration, you understand the literal meaning of any spoken language that you hear. You also understand any written language that you see, but you must be touching the surface on which the words are written. It takes about one minute to read one page of the text. Yeah. The, uh, the spell doesn't decode secret messages in a text or a glyph, such as an arcane sigil. Uh, that isn't part of a written language. So are you going to cast it? Yes. Depends what you're classing these okay. as. Okay. You do not understand. The, I figured. The it's, yeah, it's a glyph. Thing. So yeah, check it off that spell slot though. Heck, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was worth a try. No, mm. definitely, yeah. So you uh, do we... not understand the uh, the language. No, or, it's it's written it in some some kind of pirate code that I unfortunately. Seem, can't yes, it for. seems to be a uh, some sort of uh, comparable to thieves' cant, I'd say. Just it's not code. actually thieves. It's not code, actually right? thieves can't. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, I can read it. Like fucking <laughs> Just not saying anything like yeah. asshole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Strange. You said you required this from a pirate? Yes. Do you know what he if he was affiliated with any specific pirate? He mentioned that he used to work on the Devil's Fin. He was bragging about it, but I, I don't think he did any anymore. I have, I have no way to be sure. It's pirate, you know. I understand. Kind of shrugs, yeah. Hmm. Well, like Val was around while we were talking to the pirate, right? Yes. He's cool, definitely. cool. So yeah, you you'd have like all the information that I have, so you can also speak up if you remember anything. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. Just looking at the text, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thinking about it. Mm -hmm. The uh, one thing that I think is worth mentioning is the symbol below the text there and I'll point to the little squiggly little circle squiggly little squig below the thing little the octopus popcorn. looking thing yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. while while we were away in the employ of King Red Axe we encountered beings with faces that looked not dissimilar to this mm. and I believe they are called Illithids? I unfortunately am not an expert on the subject. But they're incredibly mm -hmm. dangerous and seem to have abilities that affect the mind. If they are to be involved in this attack, it could cause far more destruction than simple pirates would be able to. That's true. I understand. Hmm. I believe they had conquered or otherwise mind-controlled a small army of sea devils around the area, as well as appear to have bored the brain out of some strange green elf-like creature, and I'm not exactly sure to the full effect, but were able to have complete control of its body. It, they also did a significant amount of work on a group of rats, enabling them to affect the mind as well. Mm -hmm. That's true. I would be incredibly cautious if they are going to be involved in whatever these pirates have planned. They're terrifying creatures and we're not entirely sure how to deal with them. Real quick. Grab up something. Oh shit. Val, what's your passive insight? 
Uh, passive insight, it's like 10 plus the number, right? Yeah. 18. 18? Damn! Val, the mention of these, like, creatures that you're talking about... Oh, no. You notice that the the mayor gets a little... Oh. squirmy, like he's uncomfortable. Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Have uh, have either of you heard of these creatures? Edging mm. towards the mayor, <laughs> fucking <Val. laughs> like, just mm, I'm making mm. full eye contact and addressing Lord Never Ember. I'm I'm gonna pretend like I don't even look at the mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, Never Ember says, uh, "I think I've heard of these creatures before. I've never dealt with them myself personally. We've had our." Hands uh, full dealing with the re reconstruction of the city. But that's as far as my knowledge goes. I Only a passing knowledge of them, of what they are. Understandable. Uh, yeah. No, I've never heard of them. Oh, shit. Insight? <laughs> Go ahead. Get him. <laughs> Fucking get him. Uh... <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna murder a mayor. Ooh. Damn. He is you get the feeling that he is um uh, he's holding back. Like he's he, like you you notice like his his shifting eyes, he's uh not uh saying everything. Mm hmm Uh what how is he dressed, the mayor? How's he dressed? Uh, he's yeah. dressed in normal, like, noble's clothes. Um, okay. Nothing, like, culty or anything. Right, 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 right. of course. <laughs> yeah. But, like, he's he's well-dressed. He's well put together. Like, yeah. he looks like a noble. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks, he looks the part of a mayor. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Uh, then <laughs> I'd, I'll uh, look over to him and be like, that's surprising. I'm shocked that you haven't heard of them at all, being someone of your station. Well, uh, I've never had to deal with them. I, I, I'm far too busy managing the city where uh, Lord Neverember here uh, uh, cannot go. Understandable. Uh I'm just surprised at the size of the city and its approximate influence that you'd heard nothing, especially for a dwarf, one as wizened as you, I would assume, would have heard something. You'd be surprised at what slips past the mind. You said that he looks kind of sickly, right, Spence? Yeah, like sunken cheeks, okay. like pale... Yeah. Um, Okay, I'm gonna yeah. let Val do his thing, but I'm just taking note of that. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look back over towards Drake. Are you still con concentrating on the spell? Uh, the comprehend languages? No. Okay, you stopped. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have like no when when I that. realized we couldn't read it, I'd be like, "Fucking whatever," and be done. So, yeah. yeah, that's. That's fair. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to ask to do other shit, but not in front of them. <laughs> cool. Uh, um, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, say, oh, well, if you haven't heard of them, then I feel like it would be appropriate to describe in great detail the things that we encountered on our journey. Uh, so that you have an idea of what they can be capable of. Right. Are you opposed to this information? No, it I'm is not. Quite graphic uh, in nature. So. I, I just had lunch. I'd rather not eat it. Personally. How about you, Lord Ever Never Ember? I can pass on the details myself. I get the gist. I think. Okay. Understandable. 
The the point being that they're very dangerous creatures, correct? Yes. No. They are mm. indeed able to hide in plain sight to an extent, though. They are able to implant elements of themselves into people to cause them to transform into these creatures, and I am sad to say that we saw the process firsthand to an extent. Mm. It is quite subtle for Were they quite a long period of under time. their control while in this state? Not at all. It's completely indistinguishable from a normal person, unless you know better. Hmm. Could I roll insight on Val? <laughs> to on see if Val? I can clue into what he, <laughs> yeah, to clue into what he's doing. Sure. Yeah, because I think he's trying to hint to me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm yeah, right? Like, fucking... <laughs> yeah. My insight's not great. I'm an inspiration on that shit. Okay. Good call. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, like, really trying to keep it subtle. Uh, <laughs> it, it's really not like a... It's not like a hidden message as much as, as it is, like... I'm trying to stay on the subject to see if Soman Galt does anything else weird or tips his hand in any other way. Uh, so I'm trying to keep on details about it because he's kind of dodgy. Hmm. That's really not much else about it, but yeah. Fair. Because I don't want to just fucking jump down his throat yet. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Uh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. With, with like lesser restoration and stuff like that, if he's like looking sickly and I use that on him and it like worked, would he start to instantly look better or? Not instantly. Like, no. lesser restoration wouldn't work on... It didn't work on, you know, the... On, you know, the last time you tried it. Yes, I know. No, no, that's, <laughs> what, that's, 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 that's what I'm if saying. It, if I if cast it and that's... it doesn't change him, it's kind of proving the point that it's not, like, a cold or whatever he's going to say it is. Sure. Yeah. I'm just wondering what when it does work because I've yet to see it work like <laughs> <laughs> what it would look like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um he look he does not look you know he looks different from where you know from uh oh, damn it I forgot his name heck uh, uh, never burn? Fucking burn burn, burn? burn. Oh. yeah there we go you forgot okay. burn sir uh, listen, there's a lot of names <laughs> that I have to remember, and I don't. Oh How God. could you ever forget Burn? Fucking, <laughs> I have the memory of a goldfish. Leave me alone. It's true, and I forgive you, but I'll also never forgive you. Uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck, what was his name again? Shit. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, Burn. Um, he looks a lot different from, uh, from, you know, Galt here, so he's for the con, dude. Either, well, or he's got something else going on, or he's got, or he's got something, something else going on, on entirely. So, okay. Yeah. okay, all right, sir. I I hope you don't mind me saying, but are you are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Well, I just you seem like you you might be kind of tired. You're looking a little. Hail. I'm a very I... busy man. I don't get a lot of chances to take care of myself. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't mean to insult you in any way. I I meant no disrespect. It's just that I I know Dude. a little bit of magic that might be able to make you feel better if if you would allow me. Save your spells. Whatever as, you as, as, would as you do, wish, it probably wouldn't work. As I don't wish, feel eh? sick. I just. I just need a nap. Okay. 
side, fucking glance at Val. Yeah. Hoping we're getting on the same page about this. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And I'll turn back to uh, Never Ember uh, and say, I'm not exactly sure what's needed for anything like this. I'm not sure we know when the attack is planned, and I'm not sure how much help we could be. But if hmm. you should need anything from us, please don't hesitate to reach out. Well, You're I awesome. imagine. Well, I imagine that they would plan their attack fairly soon. Could I ask you all to, your group, um, is it just the two of you or the more of you? We have two other companions. Then, could I ask you to stay in Neverwinter for at least a couple of days? Yes, we have business in and around town that we should be able to keep ourselves occupied with. Thank you. No. Mm. Uh, when the time comes, I will, uh, I will equip you all with an entourage of six of, uh, six of my guards, and, uh, well, eight of my guards, I should say, um, from, uh, from the Neverwinter Watch to help deal with uh, the pirates, if they happen to show up. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also not sure what order these attacks might happen in, so if there's any way that you could send word to Waterdeep or ba and Baldur's Gate, that would, that would be greatly appreciated. I will do my best to send a message to, Wa to Baldur's Gate, at least. They're not exactly a fan of me in Waterdeep. No, oh, no. Mm. Kind of an amused smile. Like, what did you do? <laughs> He'll just oh, he silently <laughs> stare. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's fine. You don't want me to play for with me? Start doing whatever you want. <laughs> Roll a history check. Oh, one, shit. You oh, might, <laughs> might know. I might know. How's my history? Probably ass. Yeah, it's ass. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Damn. <laughs> Damn. Hell the fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, you would you would have a, uh, an idea of what he's talking about. He uh, um. Before he became uh, the Lord of Neverwinter, he was the he was the open lord of Waterdeep beforehand. Ooh. But okay. um, he has been uh, he was essentially kicked out for um, embezzling a large amount of funds. Oh, uh, shit. A large amount. Oh, was it to buy geez. sweet, sweet armor? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh, on a very nice desk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, oh, after getting mm -hmm. uh, after getting uh, kicked out of Waterdeep, um, at least he was kicked out of the the open lord position. Um, he made his way to Neverwinter and you and used a large amount of his own funds. To uh, his own fun. I was gonna say, quote, <laughs> his own yeah, funds. in quotes, his own <laughs> funds, uh -huh. Uh, uh -huh. to repair the city, um, oh. and thus becoming the, mm. the lord of this city. So, he has a very he, a lot of the people here have a very high opinion of him because you know, he's, he's si helping the city, he's yeah. single handedly saving the city, essentially. <laughs> Fucking wild! He embezzled from one city and fucking used that money to get respect in another one. Yeah, man, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Go him. It's not like, a very well-known story, but you rolled a net twenty, so. Yeah, so yeah. I fucking know about it. Hell the fuck yeah. Yo, I respect yeah. that hustle. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah. Um. <clears throat> I will send a message to Baldur's Gate, at least. Um, whether they get there in time or not, it might be faster for you all to deliver the message yourselves. 
you've asked us to stay put for a few days, so yeah, I'm not really sure what we should do. I don't want to endanger more people's lives. Right. We'll see what happens. But thank you for cooperating. Thank you for hearing us out. Hmm. My top priority is to keep this place safe. Pirates. We've already had enough attacks on this city to last several lifetimes. Agreed. This, this is my home and I love it very much. I, I don't want anything to happen to it or the people living here. Hmm. I feel the same. Did you have any further business with me? Do we? Like, look at Val. Uh, I'm gonna incite Lance. Oh. What are you looking for? What's he doing? What's he up to? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, with What's these the... 20s! <laughs> okay, Damn. Jesus. I'm sorry! Oh, <laughs> like, oh my what god. Is he... god. What's he thinking? What's he up to? How's he feeling about this? Uh, this entire time, he's just been looking around, kind of nervous, because he's right in front of the Lord of Neverwinter. Um, right. Oh, no. He's kind of he's been is like he... hiding behind Drake's leg. Um can I tell if he likes Never Ember? Um It's not a matter of like liking him. He just kind of, you know, it's an authority figure. Uh right. he's intimidated. with a lot of power. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he's yeah. a and he's a little he's a little troublemaker and he knows that. So <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he is. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's okay. that's pretty much as much as you get. OK, as so he doesn't want to be perceived right now. All right. Pretty much. I won't push him out of his comfort zone then. Mm -hmm. I was going to do a thing, but he doesn't. He, that'd be bad for him. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, no. All right. Uh, then I'll uh, say no. I, I believe that conducts our business. Concludes All right. our business, right? Yes. Concludes, yes. Concludes, yes. All right. Did it. Of course. <laughs> and my god will escort you out of the uh out of the castle then. Thank you. Hmm. We'll be in touch should yeah. you need us. Thank you again for your time, sir. Sirs bows at Lord A and the mayor. <laughs> he uh also, never remember like nods his head. And uh, you could tell very reluctant from the mayor, like another bat, like head tilt. Mm -hmm. mm. And he knows we're on to him, this motherfucker. <laughs> you guys, God damn uh, it. you manslayer in the making. <laughs> <laughs> you guys head uh head out. Yeah. All right. You guys heading towards the the hen snake then. Solid, probably, yeah. but I'm gonna talk to Drake for a oh, bit. I was gonna say, okay. I feel like I feel yeah. like we need a conversation where people can't hear us. Okay, yeah, yeah, maybe like not in the castle, but like on the way uh, back, kind of uh, thing. Uh, okay, go ahead. Okay. I didn't particularly get very pleasant uh, appraisals of that mayor. No, he was really weird. He. He seemed really sick, but didn't want me to try to help him. I feel he knows something about the Mind Flayers that he refuses to comment about. I didn't want to press him on it in a way that would put us in an unfavorable position. No, I agree. That was, that was smart. I suspect he knows more than he's saying. And I expect that... That's not because he is a private, quiet person. Do you think he's been taken over by one of them? I doubt it. Uh, it's possible, but he's acting unlike anyone that we've seen that's been affected by them. As far as we know, it is completely unnoticeable that there's something a miss until it's too late or they're already too far gone. I haven't seen anyone that's Didn't... in the middle. Weren't there like cold-like symptoms? There are, mm -hmm. yes. But 
As he said, he didn't have cold-like symptoms. It looked awful, though. True, but that could be for any number of reasons. Though I will say he's yes. a dwarf, and they are renowned for their hardy constitutions. Mm -hmm. Something would likely need to be very wrong in order for him to be in that sort of a state, especially considering the amount of money and privilege he has and the amount of magical interference that he could conjure from the people of this city. By all means, he should be very well taken care of with his level of influence and power. Wow, this could be a serious, serious problem. I agree. It's not something that we should tackle lightly. We'll need to form a plan with Oramak and Kasim and see what we can do. I'd like to try to get information on him uh, throughout the town as possible, but it's not exactly like I have any sort of information network set up here. Hmm. Again, could I tell Val everything that I know about the mayor? Having uh, lived here? Sure. Cool. How much I... do I know about the mayor? <laughs> Um, fucking roll history. Okay. It's magic! Yeah. Woo! Secret bar nice. break added again. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, hold on. I gotta look some stuff up. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh. Spence. If you were like, you're like one away from what I bet is real good information. <laughs> no way. Spence just like, I'm gonna keep this one key tasty bit of information to myself. The tastiest <laughs> morsel of all. <laughs> it's that, that he's a mind flare. Mind flare <laughs> <tide pole. laughs> mm. It's his favorite hobby. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, so freaking funny. <laughs> uh, as far as you know, he is uh, he's just he's just the mayor. He's he's in charge of the the day to day rulings of of Neverwinter. Um, you know that he is uh, he's he's pretty renowned as like a a fairly like cold and distant person. Um, okay. but yeah. He's, uh, he's how did he become the mayor? That's what I was wondering. I'm like, how long has he been the mayor? Um, let's see here. Um, uh, he was first uh, in his younger years. He was an accomplished uh, explorer and a uh, and government of, uh, official. Uh, because of his experience in the field, he was chosen by Never Ember to be the mayor. Okay. Yeah. He's like hand chosen to be mayor. Okay. Did they have any kind of history before then, or was it just like a reputation thing of like it'll be a, good a reputation mayor. thing? Okay. Heckin. Do you would would a night team get any information on how long he suffered from whatever it is that's afflicting him currently? No. Okay. So okay. we don't know if he got brought into the mayor position looking like that already. Or no, you wouldn't know. Yeah. Okay. Or if something happened. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. he's like a cold, kind of standoffish person, so he probably mm -hmm. wouldn't let people know about his business. Yeah. Plus he's an introvert. Heck. Like he's a he's a known there. introvert, so All right. gotcha. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I would mm -hmm. I would tell Val everything that I know. Okay. Good to know. Good, good. Good, yes. All right. I would like to figure out exactly when his health took a turn for the worse. And I'd like to also figure out if he's tried to seek out any magical or medical aid for it, if possible. We'll have to do some asking around for that. But we'll see. There should be plenty of people for you to ask at the Hidden Snake. Are any of them reputable sources of information? <laughs> no. I didn't expect this much. My dads I'll might know some stuff, though. I suppose. You could ask them. 
Oh, do I have the opportunity to meet your parents now? We're going to the Hidden Snake. I feel like all of you are going to force your way into meeting my dad's. I might as well not fight it. That is very well reasoned. Mm-hmm. And look down at Lance, see how he's doing. Peace. Just hanging out, walking okay. around with you. Lance, you've been somewhat quiet recently. Do you oh. want to talk about anything? Have I? Oh, um. Uh, no. No, I don't want. I don't want to talk about it. About it. I get that. Me. Hey. You know, if you're upset about stuff, it's good to talk about it, right? I guess. Help you I feel know. better. I, I just, I just want to go home now. Okay. We'll get you home. Hmm. Oh, I need Mary to be okay. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I've hurt this precious bean. <laughs> Yeah, you have. <laughs> I mean, is that from Barry or is that from him meeting fucking death head on? Like, yeah. these are the questions, man. Yeah. From Column A uh, or from Column B? Oh, he watched someone yeah. die instantly in front of him? Okay. And also <laughs> almost died himself. And also it's almost fine. died himself. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, I'm in Something trouble. a twelve-year-old hasn't fucking isn't mentally prepared for. It's Listen, fine. maybe you shouldn't have fucking stowed away, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but also, he's twelve and doesn't know better, though. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I think he does now. <laughs> Damn right. What's that? Drake was correct. Crazy. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> for the first time ever. Right. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, you make your way back to the hidden snake. Unless you guys wanted to talk about something further, but I feel like I feel like I'm good. For, yeah. for brevity's sake, fucking about the yeah. potential mind flariness of that. <laughs> <laughs> for brevity's sake, you both uh, both groups meet each other, uh, arrive around the same time. So Ooh, what did you guys find out? Good news, actually. Uh, it's they can, they can get her back. It uh, just cost us about five hundred gold for reagents, but um, there is one potential hiccup. It's uh, it's it's maybe okay. maybe small, maybe small, not the biggest thing, but there is a chance a chance that the spell might fail. But but. There is a much stronger chance of it working if we get people who have strong connections to Barry in on the ritual, who can, who can help pull her soul back from the great beyond. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we wanted, we wanted to make sure you got involved in the process rather than us trying it without you, and then. It, fail it, it feels like it would be much better if you could join in and, you know, add your connection to Barry. Okay. Seems like there's a... Yeah. 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 I think okay. you'll have the best shot at it. And that's the important thing, is that we have a chance. Yeah. No, this, no, this is it's good news, yeah. Uh, when when can we do it? Ah, uh, the sooner the better. Uh, we've still got time, but I mean, why why risk it, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's we'll just drop Lens off in here, and then we'll and then we'll go. We'll also tell you what what we found out. <clears throat> yeah. Gotcha. We can we can yeah. talk about that on the way there, but let's yeah let's let's get the little one home. Yeah. Come on, buddy, you're gonna get to see dads. Namaya. <laughs> He'll uh smile a little bit of that. Hmm. Well, dear God, I guess we enter the hidden snake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
it's still the uh, it's still the middle of the day, so uh, as soon as you enter, it's not not nearly as packed as it usually is because you know it's, this isn't a daytime place. Um, <laughs> <You don't know. laughs> they have an excellent lunch buffet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you enter the uh, uh, you enter the the place, and you see uh, men. Uh, usually sitting at his desk, you see your um, your father, uh, one of your fathers. I can't remember his Connor. Dwarf that's or it. human? Huh? Dwarf or human dad? Connor, human dad? It's okay. Connor. Good. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, he uh, he says, I can't remember what accent I gave him. I think it was British. Um, yeah, he was the fancy British, and and dwarf dad was like the fucking yeah. guttural. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to the Hidden Snake, um, Drake, Lance. Hey, he'll he'll shoot up from his chair. You, you're back. What was Hello, the, sir. What was your What was your other dad's name? Um, Gilther. Gilther. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gilther, honey. Uh, what is it? Oh. I'm busy. Oh. Oh. My boy. Uh, he'll run over oh, to Lance. No. Pick him up. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're safe. Uh, hi, Dad. Um. Oh. See, it's fine. Kiss him on his not, cheek. Not a scratch on him. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Dick. this isn't my fault. He stowed away. I told him to stay. He stowed away. I asked the captain to bring him back, and we were too far gone. This isn't my mm. fault. It's his fault. <sighs> I kept him safe. You're going to I'm blame sorry. a child? If the child is to blame, sure. <laughs> Shut it, <Thanks>, Ori. <laughs> I'm like trying my best to like stand up straight and be brave, but I'm also very afraid of my dad's. <laughs> like, fucking... Connor gets up and approaches you, Drake. He slaps you across the face. <sighs> and then he brings you in for a hug. I'm a hug him. I'm sorry. Sorry I had to do that. I'm so glad you're safe. I'm so glad both of you are safe. I'm sorry I didn't bring him back sooner. I did my best. I, I tried to keep him safe. It's fine. It's fine? We'll just... <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> Are you uh are you home for good then? I wish. Um kinda still haven't done the thing that I set out to do, like at all. And new scarier things keep kinda popping up. So we just kinda dealing with them one thing at a time. Right. Okay. I'm sorry, I'd really like to come home. <laughs> He'll wipe a tear from his from his uh from his cheek. Oh. Well, you'll always have a home here. I know. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> and kiss you on the cheek. B. Mm. So um is, La is Lance like mm. perked up any now that that he has dance. A little bit. I'm actually gonna roll something. Oh, oh no! God. I'm in so much yeah. trouble, y'all. <laughs> uh, Gilther looks at uh, at Lance. I was rolling with him. <laughs> I've never seen him in this side. Um. Creep. Hmm. Could, we are, um, could we maybe uh, not talk about it? Like right now? I, I, I could tell you about it. What's wrong with my boy? He's, 
He saw some things he maybe shouldn't have seen. I'm sorry. Like... like, Drake looks so fucking ashamed right now. Mm -hmm. Um... On our way back here, we were attacked by a pirate ship and a very nice girl, a good friend of ours that Lance liked and danced with at a party. She, she kind of died in front of him. And we're trying to fix it right now. Right, you guys? Someone yeah. at the temple said that we can bring her back. So she's going to be okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Of course. All signed point to yes. Yeah. And um, My the boy. same thing may have happened to Lance when we were attacked. But I but I brought him back. I, I helped him. I I saved him. Go to your room. Okay. He runs off. He, right before he goes up the stairs, he looks back at you, Drake. And gives you like a sorry kind of look. Yeah. Go I give back. him like a kind of don't worry about it kind of smile, mm -hmm. but I'm also very afraid of my dad's. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to re how to react to, to that. I know, I'm sorry. I He'll never be the same. No one is after they see something like that. I know. I'm never going to forgive myself. <laughs> He'll wander over and look up at you. Jake, I'm, I'm glad you're safe. I'm glad you both are. I don't... I don't know whether to slap you or hug you or just walk away. I'm so sorry, Dad. He'll grab your hand, like pull you down, and then bring you in for a hug. Bring you down to his height. I'm just crying to my dwarf dad's shoulder. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I did everything I could. I kept him safe for so long. I know you did. <laughs> I know. I'm proud of you. Next time you'll double check the fucking boat. I, I didn't think they were. On the plus side, we do have a much smaller boat this time around, so it'll be Ori? much harder for him to speak Ori? on. <sighs> Good news. Hmm. I wish. I wish you didn't have to go back out there. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> you promised me you'd be safe. You'll come back home to us. I'll do my best. You promise. Right now. I swear I'll come back. Alive? I'm gonna, like, glance at each of the boys. <laughs> or he'll give you a thumbs up. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll come back alive. Good. Hug you tighter. <laughs> mm. 
Do you want me to fucking break this, buddy? Now you can he'll, never leave. He'll whisper in your ear. Oh, hey, which one of them? Oh, which one of them? Have, are you dating or whatever? One of them, they're all... Come on, dude, no. Dude? You just call me dude? I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> Dad, no, I'm not none of them. No. Mm-mm. Hmm. You still got the hearts for him all. Dad, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a, I said, that doesn't matter, and I don't like him What? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I've seen your tattoo. <laughs> what? I don't have a tattoo. What? Uh-huh. No, I don't want... No, I don't... Shut How loud is that call away. I... Had, like, did Val and Kasim hear that? That yeah. was whispered. <laughs> if I was y'all gently uh -huh. leaning in. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Whatever you say. He's not around, right? He doesn't show I up until him. until later. Why you want to see him? No, no. Why would I want to see him? Why would I want to see him? I can get his address. I know where he lives, Dad. I have things to do. Okay. Well, you know where he lives. <laughs> Shit. There's no way this is whispered. Nope. <laughs> I'm yelling now. Oh, we hang out. We're, we're friends. We hang out. <clears throat> Friends. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Wink. Dad, shut up. <laughs> I pull out a notebook and I start writing down notes. <laughs> <laughs> I just like right. lean over, look at your notes, and just write at the top the T. The T. <laughs> 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 Whatever you say. I miss you, Dad. <laughs> I miss you too. Huh. Wish the mayor wasn't, you know, at work. Or at our at our other job. Hmm. <laughs> Should go find her. Yeah, I wanna I wanna see her before I have to take off again. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be. Glad to see you. Hmm. What was the name of the other place where she apparently works? I think it was uh, the Beach Leviathan. Was it the pirate bar? The Beach Leviathan. Yeah. That was it. Was yeah. That fucking medieval times. Fucking. Yeah. <laughs> where Violet <Kyle and laughs> right. Cass fucking yeah. went. Yeah. More flair. <laughs> yeah. Well, have you know that Lance may or may not have even been wearing the uniform. I was just place. gonna. That's ask, what I'm saying. I was just gonna ask: Was this like really sad, touching scene <laughs> with Lance? Was he still wearing the pirate mascot costume when he walked in? No, and you took that off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Gosh, just walks really in wearing bad. wearing the pirate mascot costume, and dwarf dad's like, "My own son, a traitor." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, okay. that makes sense. Oof. Uh, well, what a time. Well. Okay, um, we we have a thing that we have to do. We have to try to help our friend Barry. So, um, we're gonna <laughs> go do that and then probably come back. All right. Um, is there are there spare rooms for like me and my friends? To stay here a couple days. Uh, uh Lord Never Ember asked us oh. to hang around for a little bit. So Never Ember. Yeah. Huh. We had to talk to him about important wow. things. Important things. What kind yeah. of important things? Pirate attacks. <clears throat> Sorry, what? Pirate <laughs> attacks? <laughs> like out in the water? No. I mean, to start. Yeah. What? 
there may be some pirate attacks on Neverwinter and Waterdeep and Baldur's Gate, but we but we war- warned them. We warned the Lord about it, so they're they're preparing for it. So it's Ooh. not going to be anything like the last ones. Right. Mm-hmm. The one where, like the like the pirate attacks where Lance almost died. Yes. Those and ones. You almost died. Yes, those ones. I see. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, it's fine. Right, They're do... warned. They're warned. Everybody else knows about it and how we can prepare. It's 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 good. It's good. It's it's a good thing. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Just go do your thing. I don't. Oh. Yeah, we'll be back later. Really appreciate if you make up some rooms for me and my friends. Thanks, Dad. All right, you better pay for them. Sure. Um. Ooh. <laughs> we we kind of just spent all our oh, money. Shut up. <clears throat> uh, Let's go. Let's go, you guys. Okay. I, uh... <laughs> what are we just gonna stiff your dads, or what's the plan here? <laughs> Let's just go, you guys. <laughs> It's a pleasure meeting you, sirs. I'm Cass, by the way. It's good seeing you again. Good to see you all. Good to see you all. Uh, stay safe. Will do. Yeah. Uh, all right. Y'all head out. <laughs> also, yes, the plan is completely too stiff, my dad's. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Normally, your dads Respect. hand out the stiffens and they yeah. get paid for it. <laughs> no, this is the exact opposite of that. <laughs> like, yeah. They're a bit out of their comfort zone with this one. Yep. We're screwing them out of money, you see. <laughs> of course. Mm-hmm. All right. So, y'all want to head over towards the, the temple? Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. Or he'll lead them through uh, shortcuts and whatnot, try and cut down on time. Okay. You do so. Um, head on over towards the towards the temple, and bam, you're there. Bam, power fast travel. Bam. Nothing stops you along your way, but yeah, you guys enter the temple. Um. And uh Yeah, you see you see Chandri um like frantically moving about like moving like, you know, uh supplies here and there and whatnot. She sees you coming. Ah oh, Ah, oh, there you guys are. Uh oh, uh I I was just finishing up the prep for the for the ritual. Are you guys, uh is everything all set? Everything all ready to go? Yeah, I think we're uh, I think we're pretty good on our end. Uh, how how are things looking here? Uh, pretty good. I got the uh, got the material components, got the the ritual set up, and um, we're ready to go when you guys are. All right. Perfect. Mm. I guess uh, you don't need take to take us thoughts. through it. Yeah. Sorry, what? What was that? Drink? What what exactly do you like need? From us, like like Kasim said, like takes through it. Well, um, as part of the ritual, uh, three of you, um, will participate in the in the ritual, and your job is to, or in whatever way you wish, uh, to try and convince the soul to return back to the the material plane. So, uh. Whatever, whatever way works for you, for all of you, and uh, yeah, and depending on what you do, it could be either easier or more difficult to bring the soul back. Okay. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, uh, are we ready to proceed? Um. Uh, yeah, I guess of the, the three of us, um, Val, you should probably set this one out. You seem the, the less personally connected to her. Makes sense. 
Okay. Unless I'm missing something. I just, I, I just figured. Well, Val, would you want to be a part of this? I don't think I'd be mm -hmm. of much help. Okay. Okay. <sighs> if it's settled then, then the three of you, Kasim, Drake, and Ormac, we will commence with the ritual. If you'll follow me. All right. She'll uh, lead you into a um, a more like a hospital wing part of the uh, part of the temple. Here is where they keep um, sick folk and uh, and other things where they uh, attempt to heal them. Um, <clears throat> you see, uh, Barry's body has been um, laid out onto a, a bed. A tarp uh, tarp is gone. She seems to have been uh, cleaned up a bit. And, um, yeah, you see her, uh, the still pale face of, uh, of the Firbolg berry. Okay. <sighs> now, are we all ready to go? Just nod. Okay. Um. Okay. Then, in that case, I will proceed. Um, she's going to start casting the uh, casting the spell. She is um. Uh, she offers out the uh, the diamond, a uh, very large diamond. As it starts to, uh, uh, she sets it on on Barry's chest, and it is uh. As soon as she starts uh, chanting and um, uh, making the hand motions for the for the for the spell, the diamond evaporates into uh, gold dust that glitters away. All right, a, a large uh, white circle starts surrounding the bed. Or um, everybody who's in the circle's hair starts like. Like there's a like a fan, like a light breeze uh coming up from beneath. So who wants oh. to go first? I look around. <laughs> um uh, I just speak directly uh to her. Uh however you uh think would be would be best. So, in terms of uh, like mechanics, you can pick a pick a pick a way to uh, try and uh, bring the soul back. So, like it could you could try and convince the soul to come back. You could try to intimidate the soul into coming back. You could try Oof. like uh, plead to a god uh, to to do so. Just any way you can think of. Okay. Can it be any skill, or does it have to be one you're proficient in? It could be any skill. Okay. Uh, so gotcha. to like convince her, what would that be? That'd be persuasion. It's whatever skill I call that. Whatever you do, mm -hmm. I will name us. I will tell you to roll something. All right. Um. Barry, we um we could really use your help with what we are facing ahead where we we really miss you and it's only been a couple days. I can't imagine what it'd be like if we can't have you with us, you know, learning and growing and getting stronger. I, I got so many knots left to teach you and and so much more tips on cooking. <laughs> Just, uh... You're an excellent student and a better friend, and we could... We could really use you back with the team. Okay. 
Roll persuasion. No inspiration is allowed. I got that's a good call, but uh... mm -hmm. yeah, it better be a good roll because I got zero persuasion. Yep. Oh no, 12. It's, okay. above, it's above a 10. That's pretty good. That's pretty okay. Okay, okay um, who's next? I looked at Kat. Uh, I sadly didn't know her quite as well as I would have liked, but, um, I'll, I will put down my backpack and pull out my loot and, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can change that in the future and I will sing her a song. Okay. Oh. Um, do you know what the song is about? Yeah, like song about like falling on hard times, but like rising up again and being stronger for it and having a wonderful time because you fought through the bad times. Okay. Roll performance. Gotcha. Can I do that with my uh, with my tool proficiency for my loot? Yes. Cool. Cool. Her. Okay. You can do it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. All right. That was beautiful. Scene. I'll smile and nod slightly and hope it helps. Oh. Drake. Okay. Barry, you are not allowed to be dead yet. You have so many things that you deserve to do. You've barely seen anything, and I, I want you to get to see everything. You're an amazing beautiful person inside and out and I want to be around you you're you're amazing and I just I'm not ready for you to not be here Basilica <laughs> okay roll persuasion with advantage Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. Now, I get to roll a d20, and if it meets a certain threshold, a uh, certain DC. Spencer. Yeah. What if? I were to offer you 100 of my inspiration to have this succeed. <laughs> How much do you have? 157. <laughs> hmm. Throw in a couple episodes of One Piece. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no. Don't besmirch the sanctity of this. Mm -hmm. No, uh, yeah, no, no inspiration. Okay. You see the the light circle surrounding Barry starts to slowly dim as the the spell completes. There is no movement. <laughs> as a oh as oh Barry God. takes a large breath in. <laughs> <laughs> where, where 
am I? Oh my god! I'm hugging, hugging, hugging her, hugging her instantly. Uh, oh. <coughs> right there. Ow, 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 ow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm less sorry. <laughs> okay. I'll hug her when they're done. <laughs> uh, what? What happened? Where? I don't. I don't remember what happened. Where are we? We're in Everwinter and you're okay. You're okay now. <sighs> oh, I, I, uh, I'm sorry for all worrying you all. Um, Did I... Did something happen to me? No, no, it's uh, it was pretty minor, really. It's just uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. Just a minor bump in the road. Y'all, I just met that DC. Really? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! The DC was eight. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so. Holy fuck. I'm yep. fucking shaking, dude. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That means if uh, if she were to die again, the if you were to do this ritual again, the DC is higher now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oof. <laughs> yup. Oh, that berry. Yeah. <laughs> it went us a fright. One whole fright. <laughs> I'm sorry for worrying you all. It's, okay. it's fine. What's important is that you're okay now. Uh, whew, okay. All right. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm very tired. That makes sense. That's fair. That's totally fair. Yeah, that, that tracks. Is, uh... If you if you follow us, you want to come rest um, up? I would. Yeah. I would love yeah. to. <laughs> Get you all rest up at my family's brothel. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry about her, it. Like what? Her family owns a brothel. Oh, that's a cool. very successful brothel. That's cool. I'd say it sarcastically. It's pretty successful, dude. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it wasn't sarcastic. Oh, okay. so Have you know that Dagalt Never Ember himself knows about that establishment? <laughs> 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 plus, uh, uh, we got plus we got someone back there that would really like to see you again. It's true. I don't know anyone at a brothel. I've never been to this city. I don't know what you're You'll talking be surprised. about. It's Lance. Lance. Oh, it's Lance. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, is he okay? He got by, he got hit by the same thing I did. Yeah, he's fine. He's he's fine. He's okay. Oh, okay. He's tough. Huh. Oh, good, uh, good. Whew. And before and before we forget, Ormac lets go, turns, like bear hug Chandri, like picking her off oh. her feet. Thank you so much. Oh, she's had like so tears much, running down her cheeks as well. Mm. Uh. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, no problem. <laughs> oh, I'm Never glad I could help. You for what you did, thank you so much. <laughs> you are quite literally a miracle worker. It's true. <laughs> well, uh, putting her down. I am so glad you are joining us on this adventure. No, uh -huh. <sighs> I uh, Man, just let if you remind you again. I am not capable of that kind of magic. Uh, outside of this temple, um, I'm a. I'm yeah. a so, if something like that were to happen again on the on the boat, um, I'm not going to be reliable for revivifications. Chandri, don't sell yourself short. It's you don't <laughs> need to be able to do this twenty four seven. The fact you were able to do this even once is enough to make me <laughs> thankful that you are joining us. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I'll be um happy to join you all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's cool. It's cool. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go take a nap now. That took a lot. That took a lot out of me. 
I'm yeah. not really capable that. of doing I... that, so I have to get a lot of energy. Who do mm. that? Let's, we should go meet up with Val and head back to the Hidden Snake. I, I thought Val was like in yeah, the room. Probably just like in the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Val's, just, Val's there. He's he was yeah, Val's there. Speak, I, yeah. Okay. yeah, we'll have to meet up with Val. Everyone like Val's here, and you look back, and he's fucking not, and he's fucking dipped <laughs> out, and is doing <laughs> God fucking knows what. Like what the <laughs> hell, Val? <laughs> Oh, okay, oh. yeah. I thought I thought he was just like at the front of the temple, and we were in like a different room. <laughs> the fucking mares tied up. Like, fucking <laughs> tied up <laughs> hey guys, uh, I was doing a thing. Yeah, don't worry <laughs> about it. Got ahead of the problem. Mm. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Friggin' the second Chandra's out of the room, I do like a silent, like small fist pump. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, I think we should go on a break. Yay. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Woo. That went far that better ex- than I expected. Yeah, Same. Oh. Like, <laughs> that was technically uh, successful. Technically successful. If I rolled one lower, that would have failed. <laughs> uh, we don't You're need to think wrong. about that. Uh, fine. Yeah, those were just to clarify for like for chat and everybody watching. Um, I mean, I was using uh Matt Mercer's resurrection rules from the Taudore campaign setting. Um, and uh, they're very, very useful. I like them a lot. So, yeah, 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 yeah. makes things way more stressful. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, it's good. Uh, it's good. Uh, what happens if there's a failure? By the way, the uh, the soul does not return, and can they can never be brought back. Ah, yeah, yeah. What if That's you use like wish or something? Is there any caveat for uh, like? Yeah, With there a is a caveat. Um, if you use either true resurrection or the or the wish spell, then it can bypass uh, that rule. But you know, gotcha. it's hard to come by. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little tiny bit. Mhm. Mhm. Oh my goodness. Oof. Oof. just to clarify, so was Chandri saying she doesn't even have revivify? She does not have a Revivify. She is one level short of knowing Revivify. We'll so. get her that gotcha. experience yet. <laughs> so what, she's level four then? She is level four. I have a I have a um okay. I have a system in place where as you guys level up, uh some characters are gonna be behind you guys, but like, you know, they'll they'll level up with you guys. Gotcha. Was yeah. it- Silently kind of concerned, like, does Chandri have, like, similar stats to Barry? Is this going to be, like, a really bad time <laughs> if she comes with us? She is, you know, she's a level four character. That's, uh, she's not super strong, but she's, uh, you know. Just slightly tougher. Just slightly tougher. And she's got spells and stuff, so. Mm. She's a lot better than Barry, actually. <laughs> um... <laughs> We'll get Barry it's... Ranger levels yet. I might give her. I might give her levels just to you know, just to say she has them. So and then we'll give Lance mm. levels. Ew. Ah, oh, what? Are you, what kind of levels is he gonna get? The stay Barry at home level. kind. I don't know about that. That sounds like a strange commoner archetype. levels. I'm thinking, thinking other levels, maybe. I'm a level twenty commoner. <laughs> what does that mean? Nothing. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to the restroom real quick, so I yeah. will be back. Go back. Do it. Friggin' Cass and Val teach him stuff. He can multi-class wizard rogue. Hell yeah! Fucking picks up the wizard archetype and lets him God. fight people with it spells and swords. Oh, uh, freaking braid singer. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm sure that's easy. You can totally do that. Definitely. It's easy. totally. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally. It's not, wouldn't even be a thing. Totally. Barely an inconvenience. Yeah. I'm sure it'd be easy. 
Yeah, if he, if he didn't give Barry levels, we'd have to just leave her here because it's too dangerous to do anything else. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Just abandon her in a city she's never been in before. That's yeah, fine. She can just hang out at the fucking hidden snake and have Drake's parents take care of her. Totally fine. She can she can just spend all her time hanging out <laughs> with Hemo. Oh no. <laughs> they start dating and just murder Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you took so too long. The ultimate now your himbo's gone. That's what happened. <laughs> Freaking. So have we? Uh, yeah, we still haven't distributed the money we got from the the pirate ship. I mean, it was like all the silver and copper, right? Because we, we have 30 minus 6 for our gold pieces because we had uh -huh. 496 total gold between everybody. Yes. Yeah, that reminds me. Uh, did we only spend gold or did we use up all our money? Cause it's, oh, yeah, we only uh, spent gold. I I, okay. I did all of our money on my end personally, uh, but I'm going to read I only took out my, uh, I my gold. Okay. Yeah, I was. I only spent my gold, but I realized that means I still had 12 silver and I wasn't sure yeah. if I was what that total was to get the, the spell to oh, work. I have one silver and 20 copper. Uh, there we go. Good news, though. We still have two of those scrolls, so we might be able to sell them for something. Mm -hmm. We also have a crap ton of copper and silver that we need to convert. It's not going to amount to very much gold, but it's a lot of so, coins. In the in-between games, I got Revivify? Oh, so, hell. getting a diamond would be pretty sweet. Yeah, <laughs> probably a good precautionary measure. Yeah. But we you got know, a lot of random shit we gotta sell and figure out what the fuck it is. It's gotta be a diamond worth like at least three hundred gold. So right. like, fuck, <laughs> we're poor now. <laughs> I think we also still have to identify a couple of small things, like what the fuck that cube was that we got, and like. With the potions oh no, we identified we the cube. What was it? It was a cube of Wall of Force. Okay, mm -hmm. it's still not identified on the party sheet. Uh, so I wasn't yeah, sure. And then we tour. also don't have... It was have, a broken uh, one, though. Uh... Yeah. We also don't have the potions identified on the sheet. And yeah. We have to heck and get those figured out. We can maybe sell them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would I would also like to get what do I need? I need stuff for augury. Which I'll is like twenty-five gold. <laughs> uh lets me do fortune like actual fortune telling stuff. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Instead of just the flim flam I've been throwing around. <laughs> what? You're telling me the fortune telling you've been doing isn't entirely on the up and up? <laughs> well, I mean, no, no, it's all real. The, you the spirits. You partaken in flimmery and or flammery? <laughs> well, My it's... God. What? No. I misspoke. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'm not going to steal from my dad's, okay? God. Listen, um, but yeah, like, staying in a room and not paying for it is different than stealing money from my dad. It's <laughs> holy fuck. Fucking, you know what we should do with our whack-ass narc dolls? We should oh, yeah! The, we should give the Drake one to your dads. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't anyone do that? It sounds like a totally reasonable thing to do. Just randomly feel like you're being strangled lately. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, what did I do now? <laughs> it's something so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord has never been sweat weeks, I believe in Drake. <laughs> like, just fucking... I'm just using it like a stress doll. Yeah, I mean. Fucking imagine the Drake doll walked into a weird part of the storeroom and somebody didn't see it and just put a, like a barrel on it or something. It's like, doop. 
<laughs> Dude, I need you to know. Drake is so fucking upset that all of y'all saw that. It's not okay. <laughs> it's way oh, too it's much the best. into her yeah. life. And her. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Fuck y'all. And a back. Like, it's okay that Ori saw that shit, but Val and Cass have no fucking business seeing that shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, it's too late. <laughs> Oof. Uh -huh. They can't even introduce us. Talk about rude. Rude. You think that that situation was about you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway? Of course not. Yeah. But when uh -huh. two random strangers are standing by the sidelines of some family squabble, it feels really weird not to say who they are. We don't, they don't care about you. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oof. Alright. <laughs> I can... Ugh. We uh, do need a Krusk doll. You're right. I agree. Everybody needs a Krusk doll. It's just I a dildo. I love a Krusk doll. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that we were saying those two separate thoughts at the same time. <laughs> I'm like, I love a Krusk doll. And you're like, it's a dildo. Like, fuck it. <laughs> You'd still love it. How dare you? You're correct. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh my. Listen, it's it's probably not just about dick shape. There's got to be an amount of technique that Krusk is bringing to the table I'm, with a I'm gonna say, yeah. Um, well, now, now I'm now I'm just picturing it's like perfect recreation of his penis on an actual, like, a tiny doll. So it's just this giant disproportionate fucking <laughs> thing. Jesus. A cute little crust doll, massive dildo attached to it. You know, oh, I think my. it's going to be a bestseller. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> uh, I can, let's, let's oh. read through some of these donations before we jump back into it. Oh, jeez, okay. Yeah. Um... Darker White donated one dollar, saying, "Calling it now, Drake's uh, Drake carries this up, and <laughs> and, Bar and Barry's still dead. Uh, anyway, no, here's more know. inspiration I for Spike. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> uh, Sid Starkiller donated five dollars, saying, uh, "Spanker, I was so sure you'd drag it up and drag it out over the break to torture Carrie. Take five oh, as an apology. <laughs> Thank you. What the fuck." Uh, Pelpa Falk donated $63 saying, uh, uh, Barry's not dead party. Here's some inspiration for everyone, including Spanker, to celebrate. Ah! Oh, what Wait, 63, so how does that do we doubt? Um, well, Spencer gets the three. Yeah, I get the three. It, that makes then... sense. And nothing um, else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, let me see. Uh, well, 60, that'd 12 be 12, 12 split. I think yeah, everybody so... gets three. Mm. Three, Heck Jeff. yeah. Oh, yeah. Back yeah, up to one six. Which actually yeah. works out beautifully with giving Spencer the three. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Tucker nice. White donated five dollars, saying, "Well, I swung and missed that prediction. It was well outside the uh, outside of the strike zone. So as punishment, here's another point of inspiration for for the carries." Ah, hooray! Thank you. She doesn't need more. Yes, <laughs> she does. No, no, I do. I need eight more. I'm at one sixty one. <laughs> <laughs> God wow. damn. Yep. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Ugh. Okay. What a good, good time. Oh, thank you guys so much. You're all so heckin' sweet. Mm -hmm. It's so <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> all right. Heckin', how about we, uh, jump back into it, huh? Sure. Okay. All right. Then the most stressful yeah. thing about it about this session is done, guys. Let's come on. Oh, oh, what God. does that mean? What? What does that mean, Spencer? <laughs> no. oh, Sorry. God. Before we jump in, just last comment I just saw someone post in chat. I was expecting an Sao Bridge Pina moment. Oof. Pina. Oof. Epi okay. The end of episode four. Item has Oof. expired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If that had happened with Barry, oh, oh God, like dude. just missed the deadline, like mid casting. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh, so cool. Forty dollars from <laughs> forty dollars from Night Shadow Dragon Slayer uh, says uh, get carry back up to right level. <laughs> oh yeah! Hell yeah! I thank you so much. All right, so eight more. <laughs> yes, bitch. God, you're so powerful. Well, now I can't spend inspiration for a bit. <laughs> it's fine with me. <laughs> Listen, I offered you one hundo, all right? <laughs> like... Yeah. But that's not in the spirit of things. No, I know. I agree. Mm -hmm. But that's how much I'm willing to fucking give up for that shit, bitch. Like, all right, I'm goodbye, Chad. Good. I'll miss you very much. Oh, bye. 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 Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Fucking jumper in Fucking... chat. It's like, ah, I'm not caught up. I must go. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get out of here. Oh. Freaking uh, Spencer. Uh, there's some stuff in the the party sheet that we uh, or that we uh identified like a couple games ago that looks like it got unidentified. Maybe because um, fucking the crash that whole, happened. Yeah, yeah that whole yeah. fucking crash. Oh thing. right. Yeah. Yeah, like the the Cuba Force and the I think Mariner's armor. Yeah, the Mariner's leather armor. The let's see, where is it? Cuba Force. There it is. No, it's Cuba. raining so heavy, and it's right. wonderful. I love Hell it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All Hopefully, right. it stops by the time I have to go. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. All right. Well, it's in the party sheet. So if you want to grab something. Go, for it. Go I ahead. Think, I think I was holding on to the cube of force because you said I could potentially fix it. Mm -hmm. That's true. You could potentially do that. Mm -hmm. uh, cube of force. Think we divvy up the, the, the muns. Yes, 500 gold. I think we, hmm? we divvy up the muns that are in there. Um, heck. Bah. There you go. It has been divvied up. There's uh, two gold right. and two silver left to to, to take because they're even out. Yes. No. Oh, so poor, goddamn. <laughs> Who wants that two gold and two silver? But also, you all need to, you know, get rid of 500. <laughs> Let's roll for it. Whoever gets the highest. No inspiration. <laughs> you fucking go. Hey. Yep, that makes sense. That well, makes sense. Ooh, get a captain already. <laughs> I was robbed. All right, captain. Oh. All right. Adding two gold. All right, Kasim, you can get the silver. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, nice. Thank you. All right. Then yes. So, you heading back to the hidden snake now? Orion uh, with the uh, berry in tow? Mm hmm. It needs to wash up, so yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, question. Does the Hidden Snake have, like, entertainment, like, or is this just a brothel? What a like, good question. Terms, like, like, do they have, like, musicians on stage? Spencer, no. you're both my dads. How would they run this place? <laughs> <laughs> um, they don't have any, like, live music or anything, but they, um, they have some, uh -oh. they have some, uh, some food, uh, items and things, but it's mainly a brothel. Just gotcha. imagine there's one single dude that just plays that one saxophone part. <laughs> wow. Forever. Fucking careless whisper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, you gotta uh, find something. Notes, baby. Listen, you gotta <laughs> find something. It's a good song, don't get me wrong, but you play it every time. <laughs> And you only play like the same 10 second <laughs> chunk of it. At least learn the whole song. <laughs> Never! <laughs> this is my dad. art! Heckin' my human dad Connor knows how to play the violin. He taught me and he's just accepting this shit. Goddamn, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like eight notes, it's fine. Right. Okay. Freaking. <laughs> all right, so if there's nowhere to perform. Have to find there's no else. one performing. We, uh, yeah, there's oh, no one yeah. performing. We didn't say there wasn't anywhere to perform. Like, there's like a bar with like tables and all that kind of shit. You can do whatever mm -hmm. you want. Okay. Also, what time yeah. is it, Speaker? At this point, it's getting to be getting to be uh, kind of late now. Like late in the day or late at night? Late in the day. Okay. Yeah. 
if uh, if your dads intend us to uh, to pay them for the rooms, would want to try and use my bi popular demand feature. <laughs> what okay. what is the the rate of rooms here, Spencer? Well, uh, in order to rent a room, you would have to rent, you know, someone. Um. <laughs> mm. Yep. So wait, I have one, a room one. here, right? Don't I just do. have a room? You, yeah, you so would I'm fine. have a room, but it can't fit everybody. No, no, I'm not inviting them in. They can do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. My room. Well, no, no, no. I don't. I think it was that um, you guys have a separate place somewhere else, not at the not at the Hidden Snake. Okay. Um, cool. Because living there would be a fucking nightmare. Uh, <laughs> right. That's yeah. Fair. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, you could potentially go home. I just um, go home, yeah. Yeah. But you know that your place would not have uh, room for everybody. Yeah. Cool, cool. But yeah. So how much is it to rent someone? Um, it's Does it depend on night. who they are? It de depends on for the oh. for a regular person. It is um one gold per night. Um, that's just for you know, uh, for their service. Um, the room itself would cost um uh, uh also a gold per night. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, what's so, your guys' plan? We need Barry to rest up. So we need a room for Barry. <laughs> Thing. Oh, Barry can just sleep with you at your place. Uh, she could fit there. <laughs> seems like the safest option, honestly. I feel like that sends mixed messages. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no one said to get into the bed with her. Hmm. <laughs> You're the one whose mind went there. Listen, I am Drake. <laughs> it's where my mind always is. <laughs> the constant okay. state of being. Yep. I think she would prefer her own room for recovering. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Mayhaps. Her call. She, she's fucking going wherever you guys are going. She Did doesn't we, know this place. Did we mm. reintroduce Lance to Barry? Did we do that yet? We should. Yeah, we we should. Yet, I would like to do that. Yeah. All right. So, Again, once we, yeah, once we get there, um, I'm gonna be like, you guys, like, explain to my dads that, like, this is our friend who we were we were helping, and that she's gonna need a room if they could find one. I'm gonna go get Lance. I'll be right back. And then I'll go do that. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Uh, Drake, you go and grab uh, go and grab Lance. Mm -hmm. Talk to my dads, y'all. <laughs> go ahead. So Hello, sir. You, you really want us to do that? Oh, well. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are their dads? Uh, Connor's at his desk, um, and, uh, since things are starting to pick up now, since it's later in the day, um, uh, Gilther is, Gilther. uh, is, um, running around, like, doing, doing work. Gotcha. Should we, uh, should we approach the, uh, the dad that's not running around? Dear brother? I suppose we should. All right. Let's go make ourselves acquainted. <laughs> All right. So happy. Go on. <laughs> you approach Connor. Uh, uh, hello. Um, you you two came in with uh, Drake, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We uh, we didn't really get a chance to be introduced earlier. Uh, uh, I'm Kasim. Uh, this is my brother Val. Uh, yeah, we're we're friends of your daughter. Oh. And so. Uh, uh, this is nice to Might meet I say you. It, you as well, sir. Might I say it is it is a pleasure to finally meet you. You have raised one hell of a daughter. Yeah, well, 
we try our best. We tried our best. Um, has she been she been good to you all? Oh yeah, absolutely. She uh, I just don't think honestly don't think we'd be here if she uh, if she weren't around. She's pulled our she, asses out of it more than once. She's yeah. definitely been our one saving grace multiple times. Well, I'm Indeed. very glad that she's been at least of some help. Well, oh, yes, absolutely. That The way that you said that seemed to imply that she might not have been. So. <clears throat> well, why, why, why wouldn't she be of, uh, be of help, sir? Uh, well, um, when she left, she isn't, I mean, she just sort of up and said, I'm going, you know, on this journey, not really explaining a lot. So, and I'm not entirely sure of what her martial capabilities are. So I would say that they're quite impressive. Really? Quite formidable. Hmm. Wonder where she learned that. Yeah. Um, yes, my. Well, uh, I'm sure we all have our secrets or things that we keep from others, but I'm surprised she didn't mention to you. No, she's she's my she's uh she's been a bit of a, a homebody, so to say. Real, a homebody, you say? Really? God damn it! <laughs> well, I'd, I'd, tell, tell me more. What was she like as a kid? As a child, oh, she was the sweetest little thing. Oh, such a cute Aww. little girl. Oh, I believe it. Do you have pictures? What are those? <laughs> <laughs> I have these sketches that I did. <laughs> <laughs> like, the picture still exists, just not photographs. <laughs> A portrait? Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's just a fucking immaculately painted portrait of, like, baby Drake naked in a bathtub. <laughs> in the middle of his fucking brothel? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? It's like, yeah, I was gonna ask about that. It's an interesting <laughs> choice of decor. <laughs> no, he pulls out a, um... Uh, he pulls out, a, like, a little, uh, a portrait from, like, a drawer in his desk. Um, <laughs> oh, she is a little girl. Uh, you see a um, what looks to be like an eight-year-old Drake. N you know, not nearly as much makeup, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. Still a little bit though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like none at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. It's gonna She's... ask who would have possibly put makeup on you, mm. like like right? Yeah, at eight <laughs> years old. She's got uh, she's got a little bit of uh, a little bit of baby fat around her around mm. her cheeks and uh, <laughs> yeah. and chin. Um, she's uh, uh, let's see, uh, she's got short a little bit of shorter hair, a little bit a uh, little scruffier than she usually has it. Um. But, and what would your, what would eight-year-old Drake, eight-year-old Drake's expression be if she had to be, you know, sit down for a portrait? Oh, how long would that take? A bit. Yeah, I feel like she would have started with a big old heckin' smile and it eventually ended up being like, mm. Mm-hmm. This is you taking see, too long. <laughs> you see, like, on the portrait, what looks to be a forced smile. Like, yeah. <laughs> that has been <laughs> fading <laughs> over time. <laughs> oh, isn't that just the sweetest thing? <laughs> and, uh, oh, very, yes. Uh, no, she's oh, she's quite a delight when she's not, you know, being a little troublemaker. <laughs> when is that? <laughs> hmm? Oh, I said, when is when is that? <laughs> when is when is she being a troublemaker? When is she not being a troublemaker? Oh, when is, oh. <laughs> man, you've got a got a point there. <laughs> uh, 
She's a... Well, if you've raised a delightful daughter, I can see where she gets all of her best qualities. Mm -hmm. Certainly her fashion sense. Well done, sir. <laughs> well, she's picked Hitting up on a my bit of... <laughs> Stop it. I can oh, compliment maybe. people without trying to <laughs> fuck them, Karen. <laughs> you got two dilfs. Share. <laughs> <laughs> Share with the class. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um. Go on. Sorry. <laughs> okay, what was the last thing you said again to him? Oh, I said fashion I can see sense. where she uh, she gets uh, gets her fashion sense. Well done, <laughs> sir. Oh well, yeah. Picked up a bit from the uh, you know the people working here. They uh, sort of took her under the under their wing. Ah, I see. I see. Very in fashionable of, establishment. Mm -hmm. In terms of fashion, at least I'd never let her work here. <laughs> no, why ever not? Because she is my daughter. I, that makes sense. I suppose I understand, but certainly someone will need to do the financials and upkeep. I do that. Mm. Of course. Is he human or an elf? Uh, Connor, he's... he's the human. Yeah, he's a human. human. Yeah. yeah. I gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. She's far too young for that kind of thing, anyway. <laughs> it's it's no surprise that you spoil her. <laughs> I, she's been wearing quite a bit of nice things, and I often hear about the gifts she receives from you. Well, can't help but spoil her. <laughs> It's the other one who spoils me. This one oh, doesn't spoil shit. me. Right, 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 right. Oh, right. I, I have my notes open right now. <laughs> Thank so you. I, know. I can't remember everything about <laughs> yeah. them. Sorry. No, you're totally fair. It's a lot. Mm. You're all good. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, that's more of Gilf is doing. He's a sort of like he he likes to spoil her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's quite fun. Uh, it seems. We'll be needing accommodations for several days. Uh, exactly how would we go about doing that? Need what? Uh, accommodations. Uh, oh. Which to say. Um, you could rent from here, but unfortunately, part of our policy is you have to, you know, uh, get an escort. Mm. Uh, um. Classiest way he could have said that. I love him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I see. Yeah, we could hmm. possibly cut you a discount since you are Drake's uh, companions. I, see. I mean, if if it's an inconvenience, we can always uh, find a regular inn, sir. We we won't want to put you out. Well, I guess it's more up to you whether you're willing to. Uh, uh, willing to pay. We need these rooms for our clientele, you see. So of course, of course. We need yeah, to we pay for. We need to pay our employees. Yes, yeah, so we'd be costing you some uh, some valuable business. I can understand. Mm. We can't. <laughs> we don't make as much business as the Moonstone Mask, but a little bit. We 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 do fine. But... Did uh. Did Drake mention that Lord Neverember knew of you and your business? Oh, oh yeah. I have to. Well, I didn't know uh, Neverember himself knew of us personally, but we have to register with the, uh, uh, you know, register our businesses and whatnot with them, with uh, the Lord's Alliance and everything going on there. He happened to know you specifically by name, and he's. Never been here? No, he's never That's been here. That's interesting. <laughs> I imagine he's a... If he were to come to an establish, establishment like this, I imagine he would be able to afford the Moonstone Mask. I suppose, but... He didn't mention the Moonstone Mask when we were talking. I don't uh -huh. know what to tell you. 
I think perhaps you sell yourself a bit short. I'm sure this is quite a fine establishment. <laughs> well, care to test out? Test it out? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sure I, I don't need to, other than for my accommodations. Uh, but I appreciate your keen eye for a business opportunity. <laughs> hmm. no, well. I, I, I think I'll respectfully pass as well. All right. No worries. I hope you find some uh, accommodations uh, to fit your needs. I'm That's sure we a big will. town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure we can find something. Uh, I, I might <sighs> recommend the uh, the Fallen Tower. It's in the Tower District. Um, but or the uh, the yeah, that's it. Yeah, the that's it. Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. Yeah. Um, the place is run by uh, some orc fellows, but uh, they are, you know, look, friendly enough. Oh. I think we'll have to hit them up. Thank you for the recommendation, sir. You're very welcome. They, uh, they at least put a roof over your head. Yeah. Um, how is it, like, quality-wise? Um, uh, we're a bit new to town, me and my brother. Uh, is the Tower District, uh, is it safe? We uh, need a good place for, for our friend Barry to recuperate. It is mainly safe. Um, back when the, uh, the, oh, what are they called? Um, sorry, give me just a sec. Oh, good. A lot yeah. of information you gotta find, yeah. boy. Take okay. your time. Back when the, uh, the many arrows orcs, uh, attacked the city, um, a couple of them, uh, stayed behind. We made peace with them. Um, so they, they... Uh, occupy uh, the the tower district, uh, at least a fair amount of it. So, you might run into some some orcs, but they've they're friendly enough, as long as you're doing business with them. Interesting. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. That sounds but, like just the ticket. Do yeah. you happen to know uh, a place in town we could trade for? Things of magical nature? Uh, like a magic item shop? Sure, if there's something like that. Yeah. Um, well, let me think. Um, you might get lucky at the docks. There's always things being sold there. But uh, not a lot of people come in with, uh, with such high valuable items such as those. Um, mm. your best bet would be to go to Waterdeep. What about if we were to sell things of a magical nature? Sell things? Um, if you're not, as long as you're not selling in bulk or anything like that. Um, no, no, nothing like that. A couple of items we picked up on our travels. Well... As long as there's nothing in bulk, then the uh, the Harper Master will let you sell those. You can sell those at the docks as well. Mm. Lot of lot okay. of uh, foot traffic there. Lot of lot of shopping gets done there. Mm. All right. All right. We'll have to give that a look then. <laughs> at this point, I probably enough time has passed for definitely Drake. I was going to say it's a lot of. Fucking time. Yeah. yeah. Enough time has passed for what? For me to have grabbed Drake the to come back boy. downstairs with the uh, mm -hmm. with, with Lance. Um. <laughs> when she's coming down, I want to make a point of like looking at like the portrait that her dad was showing us. <laughs> <laughs> like, isn't that just the cutest thing? <laughs> And it come back in, like, super happy, like, holding Lance's hand, like, super excited to show him fucking Barry, and then I'm gonna see what you guys are doing, and be like, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, hey, Drake! We were just talking about you! Your dad has so many wonderful stories. You were quite the little scamp. I told you guys to ask about rooms. Why are you talking about me? Well, I mean, we can do two things. The conversation naturally led there. It 
Indeed, we're just being friendly. Mm. You, you got a wonderful family here. We just want to get to know them better. Get to know them. Don't don't find out more about me. You know me. Talk about them. <laughs> well, oh, the there was just there? such a discrepancy in what your father knew versus what we had known about you. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, horror in her eyes. <laughs> like, you know, all of our conversations, you never said you had such pinchable cheeks. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> How <laughs> dare you? God, language! Dad, put that away. Oh, God. Watch your language. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say fuck in a brothel. I was Yo, gonna say yeah. of all the words. No, Not in front of her dad's. rules for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Watch your language and you shutting up and you can just hear in the distance. Uh, 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 right. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just right. all They're around fine. you in surround sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Lane's look. Pointing oh. over towards Barry. Barry? Hello, hello there. And he runs over to her and hugs her. <laughs> and he starts crying a bit. Mm. <laughs> I'm so glad you're you're okay. I am too. <laughs> Ah, ah. Like, like, leaps off of her, like, <laughs> oh, afraid no. he'll break her. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm. I'll be fine. <sighs> uh, I'm glad to see you're okay, Lance. Yeah, I'm glad to see you're okay too. <sighs> <sighs> Hold your get her back. Shut up. Duty oh, is. I'm going to smile because he's back to his old self telling me to <laughs> shut up and call me Duty <laughs> He's going to poop in your back. <laughs> he's going to poop in your back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. Hooray. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm just smiling at him. I'm glad you're feeling better, Lance. His hey, since says. we're showing baby pictures, why don't we show some baby pictures of Lance or baby portraits of Lance? Hmm? You got what those? An excellent I, idea, Drake. Of course, I would I love have to those. see the first. I would love no, to Dad, see the wait, first mate. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, don't do this. <laughs> Here, I've got this one. It's like a painting of, like, baby Lance. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's like... Talk. Oh, oh, God. It's like a drawing of Connor, like, changing his diaper. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a big old baby butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he looks so happy. No! <laughs> <laughs> And he yeah. retreats. <laughs> oh, you better watch out, Drake! You'll be <laughs> sorry! I'm gonna be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good day. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you guys should remember that we're also gonna go to find your dad. Hmm. Yeah, I... I mm -hmm. feel like that'll go somewhat differently. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, you know, call him crazy. He doesn't really seem like the baby picture type. He's you know. also made out of fire sometimes, so it's questionable if he could even hold such an item without it being incinerated. Mm, oh, solid what? point there, brother. The evidence may have vanished. In the front of my dad, he's like, "What?" Is that like, a surprise, <laughs> Connor? Like gestures <laughs> to Kasim. Uh, yeah, I was, I was gonna say, I kind of assumed the fire works by Kasim rules. You know, like it's there, but it doesn't really burn things. 
Oh, Kasim can burn things. I can just choose not to. True. You all hear the sound of a door, like the door opening. You turn around. And Daggle's never Ember himself, the greatest patron of this establishment. You see, <laughs> you see a man with long blonde hair. Fuck off! No. <laughs> very fit, very uh, very good looking. You find Himo walking through the mm -hmm. door. Drake. Or once again in my eyes. <laughs> Drake, you're back! Oh, I'm so Hi. glad to see you! He runs Hi, up Himo. and hugs you. <clears throat> oh, I'm so glad you're back. Oh. I'm back. <laughs> oh, did you have a good vacation? Um, I'm kind of not done with my vacation. I'm, I flip open the notebook again and um, start taking notes. <laughs> I'm kind of just taking a, a break from vacation right now. Taking a break from vacation. Very smart. Very yeah. smart indeed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Don't want to burn out on vacation. Exactly. See, wow. you, you get it. Oh, I get it. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Is he uh, still hugging me? <laughs> yeah, he's still hugging you. <laughs> cool. Ah, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, glad to see you again. I'm really glad to see you too. I think we should uh we should hang out while you're uh while you're in town. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Great. We could do that. That'd be great. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm working tonight, yep. but uh, when do you want to hang mm -hmm. out? I I have some stuff to do, but you just let me know whenever you're free. <laughs> Sorry, what? What'd you say? You could just let me know whenever you're free. I just have stuff. I have some stuff to do. Just let me let me know, and we'll figure something out. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll catch you later then. Have a good shift. I always do. I know you do. <laughs> and he'll walk off. <laughs> Where's he walk off to? <sighs> <laughs> he goes upstairs. Okay. All right. All right. Like visibly exhale. <laughs> like, oh. So Drake was that was obviously one of your friends from town. Mm -hmm. That that's my friend. Mm -hmm. Hey mom. <clears throat> I see. Inter interesting emphasis. My best friend. That's why I emphasized on that. Ah. I don't want you guys to give him a hard time. And it's a. Uh, he obviously. Bet you'd like him to job. give you a hard time, though. Dad! <laughs> Where are you, sir? I need to give you a high five. You get over here. He's in the, <laughs> he's in the kitchen right now. <laughs> what is my dad want this man to fuck me? <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> and he's a working man. Where where does he work? He works here. Ah, kitchen staff or helping with the numbers or he is um he's very popular. <laughs> ah. Or his skill in the kitchen, or helping with the numbers, or perhaps he's a plumber. Maybe he let he lays pipe. I haven't seen any entertainment ah! here. Perhaps he performs. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what kind of jobs he might perform here. She just fucking All getting pains, the look in her face, boys. like uh huh. All pains. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. You guys know what he does. Do we? Oh, oh, I, oh, I see, I see. It's a mean. brothel. What do you he's, think he uh, does? He's an escort. I, I understand. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm in need of an escort in order to stay here, actually. Yes, <laughs> you type. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't see why we'd have to get down to anything in particular. 
I would just need to have an escort in order to stay here. Mm, well, he's very good. I've heard things. Only heard. Mm. Of course, Blaring. he is your friend. <laughs> he is your friend, naturally. Your That's best all. friend. I, I'm best sure friend. you wouldn't want to blur those lines with him. Of course not. That's, I understand. Yeah, that, it's only logical. That makes sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you guys get rooms? Well, I'm about to. If Himo would come back downstairs, I'd need to talk to him, apparently. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I can call him down if he wants me to. It, like, looks well, like at Drake. <laughs> he's very expensive, Val. Oh, how expensive could he be? How expensive is he, Dad? Uh, he is worth uh, three gold per night. Well, I have seven here. <laughs> You're willing to spend this money to fuck with me? I have spent so much more to do so much less. <laughs> <laughs> when Barry, remember when Barry showed up in a dress? <laughs> oh, Who do you think orchestrated that? <laughs> oh, fuck. That's off to you, my boy. I mean, your money, you can do whatever you want with it. Just didn't know he was your type. I why wouldn't I want to spend time with one of your close friends? Hmm. 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 By, uh, by the way, your father believes you to be a home buddy and had no idea about your martial prowess or that you were capable of much of anything. I think that you're maybe not telling him things. You know that I'm not telling you things. Well, I know that you're not telling me things. But your own father. I didn't want to worry him with the specifics. He knows kind of why. I'm doing what I'm doing, and that's enough. Right, Dad? All right. Oh, I'm I meant to be included in this? Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fine. That's good. Mm -hmm. Are you going to get your hooker, side. or what are you going to do? Going to pay my dad? Sorry. You know the proper, <clears throat> you know the proper language. Respect them. I know. I know, Dad. I'm sorry. And to your best friend, call him something disrespectful behind his back. It's glaring at you so much. Uh, well, uh, we'll need to find accommodations for ourselves as well as Barry, and Barry does need to rest, so... Barry, would you like to stay here, or do you want to stay somewhere else? <laughs> I, I can't stay here. <clears throat> Barry, are you okay? She, like, looks, she blushes over at you, Drake. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Does, does this place make you a little bit uncomfortable? What? No. I I have an apartment you can stay at if you want to stay there. Even redder. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if, if, if you're offering. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Okay. Then let's get you over there. Get you all rested. Sounds great. Oh, you know, it's a, it's a good, it's a good thing about having a quest stop off in your hometown. And just got a place you can uh, sleep. It's true. Fucking Ori probably has his own place. Like it's really just fucking Val and Cass and yeah. you. Know? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm right. I do. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll find a place. There we go. Check out that tower district. And hang out with some orcs. Yeah, you're not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here, partake of my best friend. 
Hmm, that was a solid point. Thank you for reminding me there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, you know, you speaking... Would just sleep with her friend? Speaking of some amount of business, where's a good place to take a date here? A date? Um, yes, yeah, something romantic, perhaps. Hmm. Well, um... There's a lovely trail you can go, uh... You can walk on. Um... Let's see... There's a nice fishing village um, just south of the town. Um, um, Anywhere for dinner, perhaps? Dinner? Uh, you could take them to the beach of Leviathan. Um, I've heard they have wonderful ah. service. Um, Spencer, out of character, do they have wonderful service? Is it a <laughs> romantic dinner establishment? <laughs> it's unmeetable times. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Also, he's like, the service is very good when he knows his daughter's like a waitress there. <laughs> <laughs> Ask for my daughter. Tip extra. <laughs> yeah. like, Honestly, right. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a there's a tavern known as the the house of thou of thou uh the house of a thousand faces. It's um. No, I've heard oh, there's... Sounds spooky. It used to be, but uh, they mainly keep their aesthetic for, uh, you know. Uh... Oh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Tourists. Sort Emotional of. reasons. Uh, tour. It's more of a tourist attra uh, attraction. Mm. Um, it's a. It's, Do you know any homo restaurants? That it's an homage. Restaurants. <laughs> it's an homage to what the the establishment used to be. I'm picking up that you and your husband perhaps have interesting dates. What at my husband and I do is none of your concern. It is certainly not. Mm. Oh. Y'all sound fun is all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm late. You know what? I'm coming over there. You got some high fives coming to you, sir. Yeah! <laughs> I run off into the back room. Psh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I All guess right. I'll put four gold down, one for the room and three for him. -o. All right. God damn. All right. I will go. Uh, I will go fetch him. -o. Excellent. And well, Drake, you'd <laughs> best be off. Oh. <laughs> I like the image of Val putting down the gold, and not breaking eye contact with Drake. <laughs> Dude, Ooh. unblinking. Fucking eye contact with him, like, mm-hmm. Have fun. <laughs> I'm sure we will. <laughs> Come on, Barry, let's get out of here. We need a rest. Okay. <laughs> you, uh, we'll, we'll all find our, our place to sleep and then be back here uh, in the morning. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I'll, I'll go by Val. You have to tell me everything tomorrow. Oh. Course. I love you, brother. <laughs> I hate you so much. Mo time. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'll, I'll head to the tower district and uh, try to use my by popular demand to get a free room. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, and um, and Drake and Barry head off to Drake's apartment. Um, mm -hmm. and uh. Oramac, uh, where are you headed? Uh, I'm just heading back to my place. Okay. Um, you would have a or place in the um, let's say you have a place in the Protector's Enclave. Um, still, yeah, have to. It would still have to be pretty close. Uh, actually, to, like the hidden dragon. Yeah. Um, or hidden snake. Hidden yeah. Snake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in the it's in the Protector's Enclave. It's kind of um. Yeah, yeah. That's where that's where y'all are. Um Do you think Captain Graysale has a place to stay, Ori? Oh. Um, I assume she would have already made uh reservations by this point, and oh. it's a bit late to go seek her out. A little bit. That's probably fair. 
All right. Um, yeah. Uh, Kasim, I'm. <clears throat> you make it to the uh, the tower district. It takes you a bit of time to uh, to get there since it is all the way across the city. Um, but you cool. Yeah, you eventually um, you get there. Let's see, what do you find inside? <clears throat> yeah, it's a small tavern, um, but um, yeah, you find inside there are. Do um, <laughs> um, yeah, the Fallen Tower is a what used to be a uh, a wizard's tower. You can tell, but it definitely looks like it hasn't been used as a wizard's tower in many many years. Um, Law. And since you're coming at night, you get to see the cool things about it so, Hell yeah. uh, you see uh outside of the um outside of the uh like the place you see falling off of what what seems to be a, a higher room of the of the tower like a uh, a figure falling off and then hitting the ground and just evaporating oh. into this ethereal material you see other material other ethereal figures like running for their lives like but being struck down and and um set ablaze or um just things like that like people dying gruesome deaths what the fuck is going on here <laughs> my am I, am I seeing the people uh, or whatever is Causing these gruesome deaths? Uh, no. Huh. And does, like, anyone seem to be, like, paying attention or trying to attack me? Just these ethereal people, figures? Uh, the, the ethereal figures don't seem to pay you any mind at all. Um, there are, there are, like, other actual people, like, just coming in and out of the, the tavern. Like, they're not even bothered by the figures. It's like, okay weird as this is it seems like this is normal i'm gonna go inside and find out more all right <clears throat> so you head on in and... yeah okay it's a interesting time outside there you walk <laughs> in <laughs> and <laughs> you say this you see that the the bar is filled with mainly orcs, uh, orcs and half orcs, um, and they they all turn to you. It's like, hmm. hey, how you doing? How's it going? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> They're just watching you as you walk by. Are you going up to the like the tavern owner or something? Yeah. Okay. All right. You see a uh, a large uh, a large orc uh, wearing a what appears to be a do rag and a like an apron for cooking. It's just like cover uh, like covered in what looks to be stains. Uh, old, some old, some new. Um. Uh, washing out a a mug. What can I get for you? Well, uh, I'm uh, new to town, and I was actually hoping to uh, to get a room for uh, for the next couple of days. Hmm. Next couple of days. All right, fine. Six gold. Damn. Well, that's for Damn. a couple of days, though. For... It's not terrible. Mm. Still, fuck. Huh. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I was actually curious to know if you would be uh, interested in a little uh, partnership of sorts. Uh, do a little, provide a little entertainment for you. Perhaps uh, get some, some room and board. What kind of entertainment? Oh, whatever, whatever strikes your fancy. You could do a little fortune telling. Uh, I could do some music. Some mystical arts. Make some just fucking sparks and shit out from my hands. Play a tune. 
Will do. Just uh, take the stage. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. All right. And roll a uh, performance check. You see all of these eyes turn to you. Like, they're just staring you down, waiting. <laughs> 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 all right this is a it's a tune i wrote and sung for a for a dear friend of mine he's going through a hard time but it seems like they're doing a little better anyway here's wonderwall so maybe <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be the one that saves me <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, twenty-two is pretty good. You, um, you, you play the song, and um, you. Everybody seems to give you a little less of like a hard stare. Just kind of think, oh, okay, uh, I guess he's fine. Like they just kind of go back to their own business. Like being some, some of them tapping their foots to to the music. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wonderwall, everyone loves it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the tavern owner comes up. Be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. Tavern owner comes uh, up to you. Fine. You come back tomorrow night. As well, but you play for, you play for hour. That sounds quite reasonable, my good man. Any uh, particular requests? No. Keep play. I can do he that. Turns away and walks. <laughs> Somebody once told me the God way was kind of real. Me. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? It's an ogre. It's a Shrek. <laughs> They're aware of the movie Shrek. <laughs> That's the song of the ogres. <laughs> oh. My mistake, readjusting. Oh. I'll sing some more songs and I'll throw in like some magic tricks to make mm. it a little more visually appealing every now and then. Mm -hmm. Um, after a while, after you spending some time in this uh, in this place. You notice there is a um, a particular orc there that kind of stands out. You see a ragged old orc uh, sitting close to the to a fire, uh, with claws as long as knives and white tattoos covering her body. Oh. Um, every now and then, you would notice uh, one of the patrons, typically an orc or half orc. Uh, brings her some food and drink and seems to go into commune with her. So. And she... Interesting. You, you would see her... Uh, what look? She looks to be... To, to cast spells. Interesting. So, so this, this person's coming to commune with her like every once in a while, like in the same night? Different people would come Oh, different to. people. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Do they seem to be doing anything or just talking or? Uh, you can't hear what they're saying or any, uh, anything, but they would uh, they would talk for a bit and then she'd cast a spell and then they would leave. Hmm. Interesting. Do the people look happy or any different? When some they happy, leave? some sad. Oh. Interesting. I might, uh, after I'm done playing, I might, uh, go over to them and try to strike up a conversation. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Oh. Um. If, if they're still around by the time I'm set to stop playing. Right. Real quick. Uh, make a religion check, by the way. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I feel like I should use an inspiration. Cause I'm Get it. Okay, Damn. that's enough. Um, <laughs> you know that she is casting. Um, she seems to be uh, divine, uh, using divine like 
uh, divination magic. Oh, okay. So it looks pretty familiar then. Mm -hmm. You use arcane magic. She use, she's using divine. Oh, sorry. You said divination. Yes. It is divine divination magic. Ah, uh, gotcha, oh. gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Interesting. Hi there. Uh, may I, uh, may I sit with you for a moment? Do what you want. Will do. I, I sit down. Mm. So, sorry, I just couldn't help but notice while I was playing that, um, uh, look, looked like you were, uh, you were doing some magic over here. I, I, I find that very fascinating. Do could you, know. could you tell me about it? I provide fortunes for people who provide me food and drink. Ah, I see. A woman after my own heart. I uh, do a little fortune telling myself. Would you like a fortune, boy? Mm -hmm. You know what? Sure. I'm not usually on the other end of this. That uh, that sounds delightful. Buy me food and drink. <laughs> I'll uh, nod. I'll uh, s uh, wave over to a, to a waiter or something. Or do they have waiters in a tavern like this? Not in this tavern. Or do you... Okay. Um, uh, do you... Uh, certainly, yeah. Um, anything in particular? They only have one thing. That'll make it quite easy then. <laughs> I'll, mm -hmm. I'll go get her some food. What is All the right. one thing? Uh, you go over, and you, uh, before you even say anything, uh, he gives you a, like, a very dark ale and a raw piece of meat. Oh, I, um... Two silver. Gotcha. Is, is that included in, uh, by popular demand? Um... Uh, since it isn't for yourself, no. Okay, fair. Mm. Uh, I will give him two silver. Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. House on the coins, and I'll grab the food, slightly disgusted at just how raw this is. Like, oh. Mm -hmm. I'll take it over. All right. Set the mug of ale. Uh, next to her and uh, hand her the uh, raw piece of meat. She, she seems to put it on a like a stick um, and then puts it over the, the fire she sits next to. Uh -huh. right. So. Hmm. This might take a little bit of time. It's, it's fair. Not in any particular rush tonight. All right. She uh, she begins to uh, she uh, she begins to chant in uh, what seems to be Orcish. You don't speak Orcish, do you? No, no. Mm -hmm. So, language you don't understand. Um. Check in. Um. Yeah. Uh, her hand, like after a bit of time, like enough to that you would know that she was she is uh, ritual casting something. Um, her eyes uh, start to cloud over to a glistening white, as she begins to shake. Uh, using her claws, she sketches an image into uh, into some dirt she has laid out on the floor. Um, uh, she lays out several images actually. Uh, she sketches a ship with a skull over it, a blank scroll, a moon, a sun, and a second moon, and finally a dragon's head. Huh. Does the dragon's head look like the one on our ship? No. Gotcha. Well, kinda. Like, it could be 
another black dragon, but like just like a different one. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I'll uh, wait to <sighs> see if she's going to say anything about uh, the pictures or if I'm supposed to do anything. After she is done, she looks uh, she looks exhausted. <sighs> I am done. You uh, you all right there? I am fine. It just takes a bit out of me, hence the drink and meal. Uh, looks like you've been uh, casting that spell all night. That's, that's definitely not nothing. Hmm. Um, so what do we have here? I'm not exactly sure how to interpret the drawings. I am just there. I am. I am just the drawer. Hmm. If you would like to try so... and interpret the the messages, you can roll an inten intelligence check. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Did... Does my study of divination magic give me any insights into the symbology of this stuff? Let's see. The DC might be lower, but go just roll it. Okay. I'm going to use inspiration. Okay. Oh, what was that? Go ahead. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I can use inspiration? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <sighs> That'll do it. Um, from your best, like, guess, um, you interpret the images as uh, a galleon, like, for the ship, filled with undead, for the skull, will attack the House of Knowledge, uh, the scroll, uh, one night from now, moon and suns. Galleon... Huh. You said the House of Knowledge? Mm-hmm. It is a uh is a building here in the in the city. Oh gotcha. So it's a, that's the name of the place. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it is a, how it's, long? A, it's a temple, I should say. Gotcha. They'll attack the House of Knowledge how long? Uh an, one night from now. So tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. I'll, like, study this for a bit. And then just, like, once I think I've figured it out, just, like, kind of pale, like, oh, that's, uh, well, that's not good. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know if there's any kind of diviner client confidentiality going on, but have you drawn anything similar tonight? She kind of just stares at you, not saying anything, emotionless. Gotcha, gotcha. Fair, fair. People need people have the right to their secrets. Um, do I know where the House of Knowledge is? You would know where it is. Um, it is. Um, do you have the map open? Yes. Okay. It is. Uh, it would be right. Here. Where Round N6 N6? is. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, and I'm up in the tower district right now. You're at N8. N8. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um thank you very much for the uh for the for the insights. I've never seen such a a prediction like this before. Um while uh, while I have you, um, you wouldn't happen to know anywhere in town where I could get uh, materials to perform a similar sort of ritual, could you? I've been having a bit of a hard time finding the proper reagents and such. I do not. This is a power to, uh, bestowed upon me by my god. Yeah, it's worth a shot. 
That's, um, I, I hope you, uh, enjoy your evening. So it's, uh, it's been a pleasure. I'm, I'll, I'll pull up, put up my hand. Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, Kasim, by the way. Shanka. Pleasure to meet you, Shanka. She, like, this is... grabs your hand with her long claws wrapping around your hand. Smile, shake her hand, hmm. and I'll, uh, I'll order her another drink as I uh, go up to my uh, to my room. Well, one more silver. Gotcha, cue cue. All right. One silver. Sean, can make sure I write that down. Cool, cool. And uh, right. yeah, I think I'm gonna have to tell the others about this tomorrow. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That was, Don't tell uh... me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and that Seems was... like a potential bad time. No, it's fine. That was Kasim's night. Um, who do we go to next? Uh, let's see. I feel like Drake and, and Barry are just going home. Unless you had something you yeah. wanted to talk to her about or anything like that. I can just pretty much general conversation of like, I'm really happy that she's okay mm -hmm. and that I want her to heckin rest up and then figure out what she wants to do because I would understand if she's changed her mind <laughs> <laughs> blush 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 <laughs> a little bit of that yeah um, yep yeah. there you go <laughs> okay um Ori as you uh, as you head towards uh, your own apartment, you find uh, standing in front of your uh, in front of your place, you find Venea. Did I have? Oh. Do, I, do I have her image uploaded in fantasy grounds? You you should. I've like saved them all in like my family thing, so I don't know how to like boop you them because I've opened all of them right now. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. She's so pretty. You need to find the image. I don't think I have it. Fucking. Uh, would it? Do you know how to spell her name? Would that help? You find it? Uh, do you? Are do you have it open on Fantasy Grounds? Yes. What the fuck? I did upload it. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Tell me how it's spelled for a second. Uh, N e m e i a. Oh, Nemea. There we go. Yeah. Oh no, not not her, not Nemea. Who? Who? No, v, v a a n e a is how uh, I spell it. Okay, okay, I don't. Yeah, I don't have her picture up. Damn. On, on, I on Instagram. Fucking God curses. Dang it. I'm gonna I'm gonna post her picture in our in our Discord real quick. Mm, cool, Preach. Yeah. Do it. And then I'll post anyway. a, Do a it. it. Uh, real quick, right. I'm gonna do that. Um, there she is. Um. Eh. Eh. Sorry. Eh. Sorry, guys. We're all good. Thank you. Oh, what you gotta do? There she oh, is. Oh, damn. Bitch. Yeah, that bitch. Uh, and. Uh -huh. Yeah, show that to a uh, stream. Yeah, somehow. I think. I Sorry, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> you all right? <laughs> all right, but yeah. Oh, uh, to give you, a, you can only link it. There's no way to show it. Yeah, I'd have to upload it to like Fantasy Grands. That's just, that's just that'll take a whole. That's it's a whole process. complicated. Yeah, I can do that uh, next damn. week. Or show it next, next time. Yeah, yeah, I'll show it next time. Yeah, okay. But to give her give a, a description of her um for for youtube uh she is uh she appears to be a goliath um very pale uh very pale skin like uh chalk white um and uh arm covered in uh, uh covered in tattoos she appears to have a uh long black hair sh uh shaved on one side with a uh with a ponytail 
um, reaching down her back. Um, she seems to have a uh, like a cloth wrapping around her around her chest. Um, with her with her fucking gnarly abs showing. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, she's uh, and uh, some loose uh, loose pants and uh, and boots. But yeah, she uh, and oh, she also has some bracers on her. So. Mm -hmm. She's a she's a fucking neato. Mm -hmm. She uh, mm. she sees you approaching Ori. She uh, she she seems to have been leaning against your door um, and then gets gets back up. Ah. Uh. Ori, oh. good to see you. And uh, you too, Master Vanea. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you made it back safe. <laughs> my, uh, my journey is not quite done yet. I uh, oh. just kind of had to double back as part of it. <laughs> Shame. Would have liked to have you around here. Show that some of these punks, who's uh, who's boss, some of them have gotten a bit rowdy in your absence. Oh, really? But <laughs> uh, some uh, challengers for the title? Mm-hmm. Not my place to fight your fights, there, Ori. Of course not. <laughs> have you been? Good. Uh. Better today than I have been for a couple of days. Is a uh, friend, a friend was in a um, a bad spot, and she's uh, she's fine now. So hmm. very okay. very emotional day. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I can imagine. Huh. Well, I'm glad to see you're all. Uh, well, you're home safe. I saw. I heard around that you were you were back in town, so I wanted to say hi. It's it's good to see you too. As uh, I am, I hope I hope you have been fine in my absence. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, I've been getting by. It's fine. Hmm. I'd like to um some point you your group seems a bit busy and preoccupied can probably wait but I would like to talk to you at some point while you're still in town oh um what about is it is it urgent no it's not urgent it's just it can wait I'll bring it up some uh some other time don't worry about it Oh, consider it, uh, consider it out of my mind. I'll, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, if, if, if there's nothing else, I give, uh, give her a bow and, <laughs> uh, uh, and I, I should best make my way to bed. I, uh. If 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 the rest of this journey is any indication, I will definitely need my rest. Hmm. Well, I certainly hope you get it. Have a good oh, night there. I, hmm? I, I I I almost forgot to mention. Um, we uh we have our own ship. I was named captain. Really? Yeah. Huh. Not I exactly official, the, but. I never took you for the captain sort. Yeah, I, um, it's strange. I've never seen myself as a leader either, but they trust me. Hm. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Master. Hmm. Well. Good night. Have a good night there. She'll, uh, she'll start walking away. I'm a fan of her. <laughs> <laughs> I really like her design. Mm -hmm. Really cool design. Yeah. yeah. By the way, the artist who did the 
who uh, made her art is uh, Harless Kudo, uh, at least on oh. fucking uh, on artisan clients where I got that made. Nice, uh -huh. cool, cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that is gonna be that is be uh, gonna be Ori's night. Woo. And we got one more party member to check in on. <laughs> no, we don't. Everything's fine. Let's thank you. Who could it be? Drake! No. Uh... <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Val. Yay. Um, after a bit of time, um, uh, Connor come back and comes back down with uh, with Hemo. Uh, he sees you, gives you a big warm smile uh, with a hint of like a uh, playful, like, uh, rowdiness to it. Uh, hey there. So, you wanna, uh, you wanted to acquire my services? In a sense, for sure. I heard you were a friend of Drake's. I just wanted to get to know you, and I understand you're busy. I don't want to, I, w I would never put you out in a, in a way that you wouldn't be compensated for your time. Oh, well. Uh, sure. Uh, let's head. Uh, let's head to my, uh, head to the room then, huh? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> and he'll lead you to uh, lead you to one of the rooms. Um, uh, here, here's a uh, here's a spare key for the room, uh, just in case you need it. Nice, snag that. And uh, lead you in. <laughs> so. You wanted to uh, want to talk to me? Yeah, uh, I understand that you and Drake have been good friends for quite some time. Yeah, we've been really great friends. Mm, that's Red. wonderful. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh God. Now I'm just yeah. Now I'm just picturing Drake sitting up, just oh, I'm barely. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> I just had the sharp stabbing oh, sensation in my God. back region. Yeah. <laughs> There's a hole in my chest. Where did that come from? Is that? Oh God, I've been shot. <laughs> oh, well, I've recently begun sailing, Drake, and. I figured while we were in town, it would be an excellent opportunity to meet her friends, her family, and just get to know everyone a little bit better. Oh. Well, I hope you've been uh, taking care of her, or she's been taking care of you, or anything like oh, that. I don't know. She's absolutely been an uh, incredible help to us on the journey. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> she's always Do been... You have any She's always tried her best to help around here, so. I understood that she didn't really leave here much before uh, the journey she started on. No, no, she's, uh, you know, she's a bit of a, a daddy's girl, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've, I've seen that her her father's spoil her quite a bit. <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit, yeah. Did she mention what she was off to do? Uh, real quick, Carrie. Did she? Did you? Did Drake mention like anything to Hemo about where she was going, or what she was doing uh, on her I vacation? Think... You're right. Mm -hmm. I think I would have told him kind of the same thing that I told my dad that I have to do some stuff, uh, to pay a debt for my birth parents. And that's uh, it. Okay. Yeah, uh, because I wouldn't tell Himo and my dad's a different thing because mm -hmm. as much as I love mm -hmm. Himo, he a dummy <laughs> and he goes spill that beans. Love it. <laughs> so <Right>. yeah. <laughs> All she mentioned was that she uh she was gonna do something she had to pay a debt for her from her birth parents or something like that. Uh, no, no, she had to pay a debt to her birth parents. Mm. Um yeah, that's it. She had to pay off her, her, her student debt. That's it. Her student debt from her birth parents? Yeah, yeah to, I think to that's it. her birth it. parents? Uh, to them? Because of them? Did, did so, she mention? No, it was... 
It was to them. That's it. Yeah, to them. Ah, okay. So she was paying her student debt to her birth parents. Yes. See, Did she what say get... what she studied? Hmm? Did she say what she studied as a student? Oh, uh, no. I didn't know she was a student. I didn't either. What do hmm. you think that she learned? Hmm? What do you think that she learned? What do you think she studied? Ah, oh, she's pretty smart. Um, probably, so... like, everything. Hmm. Is there anything in particular that you think she's very good at? Something um, she really excels at. I think something she's really good at. Uh, she's good at laughing. She's really good at laughing, being nice. Um, <laughs> she's good at um. She's good at looking really pretty. <laughs> Do you think she went to school for any of that? She might have. I don't know. Hmm. I wouldn't doubt it. I I wouldn't be surprised either. Mm -hmm. Well, I would, I would love to take up the rest of your time uh, hearing stories about her and anything that you might have gotten up to with her over the rest of the time we have. And I suppose uh, if, you, if we ever get bored, I'll teach you how to cheat at cards. That sounds great. Hey, did you know that she has a tattoo? Oh, what? Geez. What? <laughs> of what? Well, I I only, I've only caught a her. glimpse of it. I don't know. It's like on her lower back or something. Her lower back. Yeah. Hmm. I've only caught a, like a glimpse of it a couple times, but like, yeah, I think yeah, she has a she has a tattoo. Oh. Do you think she got that at school? She might have. I don't know. Maybe she went to a tattoo school. Ah, uh, it seems possible. Yeah. I'll have to ask her about that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Mm-hmm. We'll fucking fast forward for the rest of the night. Yep. I'm going to teach him how to cheat at cards. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> And that is, uh, that's the night, and I think that's where we're gonna end it for today. <laughs> I'm fucking I want you playing. <laughs> Sorry, what did I've you say? I've been screaming at him <laughs> lightheaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hate it! <laughs> you think he wouldn't notice? <laughs> After I all the time that, he's, that, it's, that you spent together? I <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what it's of, so thank God. <laughs> well, this oh. is a mystery that needs solving, I think. Uh... <laughs> Spencer, I'll, I'll I'll DM you all the things that I tell him all about. Oh, cool! <laughs> oh, Beautiful, dude. I was so happy minute there where he was just so dumb that he forgot what I was doing and I was like yeah. this is what you get for trying to fucking get information out of this dumb ass about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then a bomb <laughs> dropped. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, you mean she has a tattoo? And just, <laughs> again, just, just Drake sitting on my bed. What? <laughs> what? Oh. What's Barry, am I dying? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Why did we have to come back to this awful play? <laughs> You're the one who made this character uh, decision, Carrie. I thought we could just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you, you think fool. that? <laughs> Secrets were meant to be spilt in D and D, Carrie. <laughs> Dude, in all fairness, I'm, I'm keeping this one for a bit. I'm proud of myself. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a good time. Oh, what a God. good time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you okay, Carrie? No, I'm very lightheaded. It's been a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, fucking, he's just like, she's very good at being pretty, and I'm just here like, ah! Oh, God! <laughs> dying. Uh, Fucking dying. 
Come on, Drake, she blur she those lines. <laughs> oh, she's really good at laughing. Fuck. All right, guys. <laughs> what do you? Uh, what? What does everybody think that the tattoo is of? <laughs> mm. Corey, shut the fuck up. You don't get to say. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say because you know I can't mm -hmm. say what I think it is. I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Thinking maybe a butterfly or like a really detailed render of Himo's face. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really funny. <laughs> That'd be Real really sad. funny. <laughs> I don't want it to be. I want it to be both, where it's a butterfly, but like the design on the wings is just Himo's face. <laughs> Oh, as, yeah, as long as it's not one of those really cheesy things where, like, you get the name of the person that you have a crush on tattooed on your body. <laughs> that does so cheesy. Mm-hmm. Especially like, if you like, never uh, even dated them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the fucking, like, biker mom tattoos? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Oh, they're so gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Carrie. <laughs> 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 the silence yeah. says a lot. What? <laughs> Listen, it's either Himo's name or the words coin slot right above the F. Shit. Property of Krusk. Oh, no. Krusk somehow did this. Yeah. <laughs> While she slept. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, Krusk? If you just woke up and a tattoo you knew was there was different than it was the night before, it's like, wait, oh, what? Fuck. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> well, with all of that said, we're gonna heck and end the YouTube recording. Uh thank you all so much for joining us on this wonderful session of Swid. Oh. God. Yeah. We're all having fun <laughs> here. <laughs> fun Such fun. That we are having. Uh, uh, excuse me. Nice. All right. Goodbye, everybody. I miss you all very dearly. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.